god, we're, we're losing him. We're losing him. Oh, oh, oh my god, Chinese is. Are you okay? Is everything is everything fine? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks like we're all good. I was sorry. I was a little close right there. I was a little. We're we're fine. We're. Oh, oh, we're we're good. Everything's fine, guys. We're fine. Don't don't panic. Don't panic. We're all good. Everything's fine. It turns out that today, today, we are literally the last person in existence. It is the apocalypse out there. You don't even see. You can't see it. But chat, today we are the last nurse joy. We are the last line of defense to whatever's happening. And I hope you're ready. Cause I'm gonna need a goddamn scalpel. We must save the world and inappropriately. <laughs> okay, one second. We must save. <clears throat> there we go. We can save the world, guys. <laughs> Imagine, wait, wait, chat, chat, chat. Imagine, like, this is your doctor. What do you do? Hey, guys. <laughs> hey. They're gonna be all okay. <laughs> like, this is it. This is this is your. Uh, uh huh. You're gonna be fine, guys. <laughs> Guess. Don't say guess I'll die. What, what do you mean? Don't say that. All right. It's fine. Like everything's going to be like good, you know, literally. Okay. Like you walk into the exam room, guys. <laughs> like you walk into the exam room, you hear this. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Get me a goddamn saw. <laughs> Anyways, um, well, hello. Today, what we're doing is, um, uh, we're playing, uh, this, this Pokemon fan game, uh, called The Last Nurse Joy. Um, right? Where'd you get the scrubs? I don't know. Nan's got them for me. I was like, get me scrubs for tomorrow. Any Blastoise in recovery from Blastoise poaching? It's just, uh, just a couple, <laughs> right? Uh, just the store. They were, um, God, where is it? They had tags that said Grey's Anatomy, and that's when I knew. <laughs> You're fucked. All right? Guys, I hope you guys are ready. You can save <laughs> you know, the here world for your exam. one colonoscopy at a time. <laughs> Imagine, it's the apocalypse. The only way to cure people is through colonoscopies. And my God, we're going to do one live on stream. <laughs> guys, this is the live colonoscopy stream. Aria Dos here. I am right? still hunting this is literally, you. This is literally like the the. This is the live colonoscopy stream, guys. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. So where's Doug? Like, uh, isn't he supposed to be here for for this? I thought he was doing it too. I mean, like we we've talked about it, right? We're like, hey, if we ever like go out, like if 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 you know if we ever wanted to do like like one uh one stream to like end it all. You know, where you where, where we're like, all right, we're going to get banned and we're just going to whatever, you know, what would it be? And we've we've you unanimously and both agreed that we would do live colonoscopies. Right. I think that's like probably the best bet. Um, So, I mean, that's what I would do, you know. All right. So, yeah, that's content, baby. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> so today what we're doing uh, is we're doing the last nurse joy. Uh, so this is like a fan if game. If it's a colonoscopy right? at a Pokemon Center, I'd be concerned if you had to treat a Snorlax. <laughs> Look to the right and cough. Um, so um, what we're doing is we're doing uh, this playing this game called The Last uh, Nurse Joy, uh, which is like this fan game from this game jam um, where I don't know. I don't know too much about it. I just know that it exists and you are Nurse Joy and you're apparently the last Nurse Joy and you got to figure out what the hell the apocalypse is going out you know uh so yeah i don't know we'll figure it out it'll be fun um i hope you guys are excited to see this um i just thought i'd 
<laughs> dress in scrubs for you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, 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 guys. The, the name isn't the last colonoscopy. <laughs> That's not. No, all right. Like we're gonna do some like um, appendectomies here too. Maybe like a lobotomy. Um, it's just it's not. That's not what it is. Um, Jay, thanks for the seven months. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, Lily Viathan, thanks for the one year. Mystic Woods. Um, here, let me let me do like a little like some like elevator. No, no, it's like this is like the music that you listen to like in the waiting room. You know. <laughs> literally like that's like that's like literally what it is um so <laughs> mystic woods thanks for the one year xylia thanks for the 37 months uh xkc sports is thanks for the six months crispy shit thanks for the one year uh axolotl thanks for the 23 months the only sub zero uh alex d for harp a uh, chris estonian goddess uh rin pasta lieutenant sparkles cozy rat sims thank you so much uh for uh the subs and bunny blast thanks for the seven months Colonoscopies nuts got them. How does that make sense? <laughs> How does that make sense? I don't understand. What what do you colonoscopy not these nuts? What? I don't don't lolt W at that. That's not that's not like a good one. No. <laughs> like come on. It's yeah, it's not a good one. Oh, all right. Let's let's play this. The 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 last nurse joy. Let's see what this is all about here. Uh all right. Ooh, whoa, look at this sound, look at the sound. Right? Post colonoscopy era point crow. That's not, it's not, the PC PC, right? Isn't, <laughs> it stands for post concussion point crow. <laughs> make sure, I want to make that very clear. Zinga Langley makes the tier one subscription, okay? All right, here we go, let's do this. All right, um, the last nurse joy. Uh, new game. I don't know anything about this. What is happening? What? Red scurried to a Pokemon Center. Protect. Wait, wait. We gotta get like the. Mu we gotta get the music here. Red scurried to a Pokemon Center. Any Protecting the exhausted exam and fainted speed Pokemon run, from further harm. Everyone thinks it's the end of the world when their team faints for the first time. A lot of the kids feel stupid when they find out the machine takes three seconds to heal them all, but they'll never tell you that. You probably don't remember your first time because life just went on. After all, it's Nurse Joy's job to put Pokemon back into fighting shape. Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh, 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 this is so cool. <laughs> People all around the world, countless generations depend on the healing machine. Still, one might wonder what their job was like before that machine existed. Oh, it's very easy to forget that at some point they didn't. Uh, the revive system is an infi uh, infinity physical restoration backup system used by a Pokemon Center or hospital setting to maintain and restore Pokemon's overall health. Its applications include reverse psychological trauma, forcing emergence from coma, and otherwise creating a state of homeostasis. The creator wishes to remain anonymous. Uh, like, chat, 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 chat. Um, <laughs> are we going like the full route of like these goddamn machines took our jobs? Like, is that like, are we going like full, like American? I didn't know. I, I didn't know I need to like dress up for that. You know, um, what is like these, these goddamn machines coming here, taking our goddamn jobs. I'm telling you right here. It's just me out here in the backwoods and I got it going. Yeah. We used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> My God, these kids in these fancy machines these days, they got them Tic Tacs in their tweeters, but I got my Insta book and now uh, we're gonna keep going on like I normally do. Dang, damn it. Sweet God damn. Right, like is that, I, I just wanted to make sure that that's where we're going with the story rather than like, like it's like I, I thought there was like a post-apocalyptic kind of setting going on but it looks like we're literally just going you know 
<laughs> Looks like we're just going the Alamo. <laughs> it's very easy to forget that at some point these machines didn't exist. Easy to forget that someone put pen in paper, uh, pen to paper and invented it. Easy to forget that one Pokemon Center somewhere at the very bottom of the world had to be the last to get it. Machine that is. November 21st, 1960. Is that the, is that, is this Antarctica? Is this the North Pole? Like, oh, it is Antarctica uh, Research Facility or Antarctica uh, Research Facility. Oh, wow. The, the good old days. I love the static. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, Chansey. I've got to show you this new office. And they've got everything. A blood analyzer, a model Lux X-ray. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I know. If only mainland Pokemon centers got this much funding. Ah, no wonder they asked me if I, oh, I don't know. Experienced difficulties performing simple tasks or performed well under stress before I got transferred to Antarctica. Uh, I'm being pressured with hospital, whoa. What happened? I haven't touched anything. So I literally mock a W. Ah! See? It came from that way. So quick to judge. Oh my god! Please, the nurse! <laughs> doctor, go lightly. Nurse Ida? That's your name, isn't it? Y yes, yes, it is, Doctor. Go lightly! Oh, I need you to fix her tail. It's a skitty. Marley, uh, calm down. It's her first day. I'm afraid he dropped an ice core on it. Oh, that's a big ice tube thing. Can, can we concentrate? I see. May I have our Pokeball, Doctor? Of course. Your skitty is in safe hands. Begin! Oh, okay. Should I ask him for context or start treatment immediately? Like what happened here? Oh, 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 we're starting. Okay, so we got this skitty from this guy. He said he dropped an ice core, which is like, uh, you know, one of the research tubes uh, they use when they drill ice on the skitty's tail. And he's like, I got a healer. And so we're here at this Pokemon Center, which is the last Pokemon Center in the world to not get a machine. Uh, like the auto heal. So we have to manually do this. I like the, I like the, you know, this, you know? Oh my God, this is cool. Step Crow, what are you doing with that poke ball? Uh, Scale Lord, uh, thanks for the two months. Mischief Emily, thanks for the 34 months. Lake, thanks for the 11. Roseanne, Crazy Caden, thanks for the sub. Uh, Water Sky Blaze, Skywater Blaze, uh, Silver's Void, um, Zelani, uh, Bunny Blast, Chase. Doctor, Doctor, I need a vasectomy. I don't want to eat trash after paying all the child support. How does that, why do you, okay, you don't need a vasectomy to, I don't understand. I don't I don't give out vasectomies like candy. It's not like, oh, you're regularly doctored visit, right? Here's a hey, vasectomy point with crow, it. merch idea for you. A doodle crow eating an orange bell pepper. No reason why. I just think it would be, be cute. It's 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 like it's vasectomies, colonoscopies, lobotomy, like it's not like buy one get one free here, okay? It's not like there's no like department Back store. Back in my day, live streamers caught fresh river fish. What's with all this computerized Pokemons? Back in my day. Oh my lord. Oh, uh, let me do an uh, exclamation mod in chat. Uh, if one of the um, mods could put the, uh, the last Skitty fish joy inked. in the credits for that, that'd be awesome. Okay. All right, let's check this out. Oh. Oh, this is the operating theater? Oh. Right. Uh, the reason I mentioned that it looked like a hospital, Chansey. It looks like it was What's designed this with the... in a family of four? Uh, it looks like it was designed with the ODT process in mind. It's a terrible acronym, but good principle. The left side is for observation. That stores everything that'll give me the information about the Pokemon's condition. Okay. Everything I can't get from just interacting with it, that is. They've got uh, stethoscopes, thermometers. Okay. Even that x-ray machine. The right side is for diagnosis. 
Once I've ordered some more books, I'll have all the reading material I'll need. Everything to help me interpret the information I got from observing. Oh, and they've got a uh, copy of Pokey Anatomy. Oh, is that like Grey's? Is that like Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> I mean, literally like, doctor, doctor. <laughs> they're, 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 every every Grey's Anatomy episode ever. Doctor, doctor, uh, here's, uh, please, you need to save him. Oh yes, the diagnosis is this. Like three days later, the diagnosis was wrong. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe I was wrong. It must be this incredibly rare disease that has never existed ever. Oh, thank you. You saved me just in time. Like that's, oh, also I slept with your mother. Like that's like, that's every Grey's Anatomy episode ever. Like you can't tell me I'm incorrect about that. That's house. Oh, true. That is more house than Grey's. Um, but like, if you do the I slept with your mother or like, oh, hey, you know, I'm in love with this patient. That's more Grey's Anatomy, you know? Um, that would be that, you know? Um, and the uppermost side uh, is for treatment. Okay, so uh, at the top, we treat uh, the, the Pokemon. There, I'll be able to collect up to three tools I can use to make sure Skitty heals successfully. Only once I know what the exact issue is, of course. There's also some things I can give to Skitty at any time, such as painkillers and a toy closet to help her feel more at ease. And then right next to the gauze is a typewriter in case I want to write up a more detailed care instructions. It's slightly empty at the moment, but so that can soon be fixed. Okay, so basically right here, we to the left, uh, we have tools to help diagnose. To the right, we do diagnose. And uh, up above, we have like the treatment center. Basically, like we like, um, we can actually like treat uh, Skitty. That's so cool. So wait, so this is like a medical game. We're literally like treating Pokemon. <laughs> this is, oh boy, can't wait to make this go correct, right? Uh, come on guys, you would trust me as your doctor, right? Like your primary uh, physician. You know, <laughs> just imagine. It's like, hey, uh, doctor, I feel a little cold. <laughs> I, you, you, you have stomach bugs, parasites. <laughs> no, yeah, say yes, chat. All right, say yes. All right, come on. You trust me, right? Uh, and once I've decided for sure which tools to use to treat a Pokemon, I'll tell you the plan and we can treat the patient together. Okay, right. Let's see how Skitty's doing. Welcome to healthcare. <laughs> it's, it's an honor. All right, let's see the Skitty. It seems to be crying. Yeesh. All right, Skitty. I'm just going to take a look at your tail. Oh, I press on the Skitty. Oh, oh, he's so sad. Grey's oh. Anatomy is actually the name of a legit medical textbook that the show is named after. So the book title is probably referencing that. I choose to believe it's referencing the TV show because uh, I'm an uncultured swine uh, who has uh, watched way too many seasons. All right. That's so cute. Okay. Um, pet her head. Oh, wait, is that, is there like some, is the tail okay? It looks like there might be some blood. Oh no, they're there. Oh, chat, pet, pet, pet the seat. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, my bad. Pokemon generally get uh, aggressive when they're in pain. <gasps> looks like she's trying to lick her tail too. Oh, the poor baby. What should I, okay, chat, what should we do? What should we do? Uh, do we do we touch the tail? Do we look closer? Do we check the notebook? I mean, uh -huh. remember Eric, treat the puppy. Don't kick. All right, that's it. Not a puppy. All right, it's a cat. Um, you know what? I am the doctor here. I am the doctor, but you guys are my assistant, and this is this is something that we need to get together. Okay, right? I am the one treating, but I need you guys to help out. Let diagnose. me put it this way: if I had to choose between you being my doctor and you being my personal chef. I'd rather be hit by a meteor. <laughs> you, or like go play in traffic, you know, like <laughs> that's also good. All right, we'll look closer at the injury. That's what you guys are saying. Okay. Uh, this might be difficult if she keeps licking the wound. Oh, oh no, it looks broken. What should I do? Okay, uh, maybe like check the notebook. I don't think we touch it, right? Appears to be uh, grooming her tail wound, which concerns me. Wound has broken skin. Oh, there's like energy levels and comfort levels. What the hell? Okay. Um, what's this? It's a blood analysis machine. I doubt I'll need it for Skitty, but it gives a read off things like blood cell count, acidity, oxygen levels. What the hell is this game? The thermometer, no. Okay, the stethoscope, no. The blood pressure cuff. The butterfree needle? Dude, oh my God. Um, and then we have a draconic readout, uh, the synodic compare, the electro counter, 
the flare me uh, meotter or whatever the fuck um the air current test what is this okay uh it's a toxin test strip kit i'm gonna have to order more of those strips the model Lux X-Ray. Very compact and a big enough table to fit most Pokemon. I'll need to put Skitty on the table to X-Ray her. <gasps> okay, okay, we can take an X-Ray of the tail. Should I give Skitty an X-Ray to see if any bones are broken? Yes. Just amputate it. No, don't tell me to amp. No, don't amputate. Guys, guys, we're not we're not going for a kill count, you know? We're not going for a kill count. Okay. Uh yes. Right. Okay, let's let's go for let's go for a little X-ray. Let's see if Skitty gets a Lux. Oh, that's so cool! Wait, this is such a cool game. This is so cool. What the hell? Done. Uh, here's the results. Oh. oh! Wait, this is so cool. Oh wait, look, you can. Okay, but you see, it's broken though. There's like a fracture. It's not. It's not even a fracture. It's like a full broken tail. That's gonna need a lot of care to heal properly and completely, if at all. We probably need to like uh make a cast for this right so we definitely see that it's like broken um i'll take the photo album yes took the photo album it's all just pictures of wild and polion good ones mind you <laughs> one of them is labeled mating call this isn't like <laughs> um is is that like a huh <laughs> like i mean i like i've heard <laughs> Like I've heard, I've heard of like Gardevoir, Lopani, Gartromp, oddly, um, but uh, Empo Empoleon. Why not? We only need two more kills for the nuke. <laughs> this isn't like a kill streak. All right, we're still trying to cure Skitty. All right, scalpel. Uh, take the old newspaper. Sure. 21st April, uh, 1940. Mankind lands on the moon. Neither Natasha Rosenberg or Chris Waterford, the two Moss Deep astronauts, can confirm or deny the existence of moon Pokemon. <laughs> if they were there, we definitely wouldn't have brought them back, uh, says Waterford. That's a little concerning. <laughs> uh, take the tops and tails and bells and whistles. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so... Uh, most Pokemon are characterized by how they've dashed to their specific niche. Flygon's goggles keeps eyes. Toxic Crow's poison loud. Okay. But what purpose do ornamental features? This we're literally reading. Where have I gotten in stream? Like, like how how have we gotten to this point? We're we're now reading medical textbooks on Pokemon for fun. Like we're going with this is <laughs> how is this my job now? Like, is this <laughs> Often, parts of a Pokemon's body serve as balance, right? Heavy tails oct often act as a counterbalance. Um, like Skitty, like Skitty and the, even the Absol. However, when injured a limp, the tail can also obstruct the Pokemon's back legs, throw it off balance. Um, most veterinarians will choose to amputate tails that won't heal correctly. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to cast this. We might have to amputate. Um, is that the right thing here? We might literally, oh my God. Um, the size, health, or seemingly useless parts of a Pokemon body can be a physical indicator. When mating, Pokemon all across will naturally prefer fit mates. One example is the Mandibuzz. Uh, there's trends in the bones that Mandibuzz prefer to wear attractive mates, but for, for the inspections, the trendy bone almost originate from the prey Pokemon. Uh, the ability to find rare prey becomes a status symbol. For this reason, ornamental parts are also used to indicate dominance. Um, like, uh, and pulling on metal horns, like the height determines the pecking order. Oh, okay. Cool. Wow, we might actually have to amputate. Uh, take the travel digest. Sure. Um, Booble Snoot loves you. Thanks for the two months. Gay happy thing. Love the name. That's amazing. Thanks for the Brian. IDM with the 14 months. Diosta, thanks for the two months. Claire the Cat, thanks for the uh, one year. And Orient, thanks for the two months. Get the rusty saw out. Um, try Pelipper's flights all in one package for five wild nights in Eruni City. Spend your days under the summer sun and your nightlife in the city's famous dance halls. Okay. Or cruise into the busy Heron City port in tune with migrating seabirds on board the Albatross cruise. Um, if your free time uh, falls around winter, book a spot in Arnokla's luxury Valleyside Inn. Your days walk away from mountaintops in the city of Moore, Calfort. Cool. Huh? Someone cut out the other pages. Okay. So someone cut out the pages of the travel log? Uh, take the Nurse Joy newsletter. Oh, okay. Uh, newsletter. Back in... Uh, I told you. I, I goddamn told you. Back in our day, 
the newer generations of nurses are speaking out about a gatekeeping issue that's more pervasive than many of us realize ye how do partners believe it's time for us older folk to think critically about how we can stake our identities on being a nurse this won't help if amputating you know the tail will? causes them to lose oh, balance, then you can just Some amputate blue their legs so they don't trip. Good trend. old classic pickup truck. Yeah! Howdy, partner. Never forget the Alamo. Back in then, I got a skinny on my dirt bike, and we wrestled. Can I say uh, I love this? So many I'm other things. I don't when really know. Science a fantasy they do. realm. Also, pet the cat. Ah. <laughs> uh. Got it. Do we have a yeah yeah the Alamo when they had dirt bikes? Um. Anyways, uh, this won't help. Uh, okay. So what's this over here? Uh, Pokey Anatomy, a uh, culmination of 50 years of work, an encyclopedia of anatom uh, anatomical layouts, one for every Pokemon known to man. If I can see the ice core land on more, now I can see if the ice core landed more on more than one. Now I can see if the ice core landed on more than just one bone, which we did. Needs dusting. Okay. So, oh, oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, it definitely landed on two bones for sure. Um, wow, we can see the nerves, the blood, the, this is crazy. What the hell? This is insane, dude. Um, hey, Duosian. I know the last nurse had a good sense of interior design that needs watering. Oh, the Duosian's like a plant. If I'm correct, this is an Aspir tree. Cool, okay. Um, so let me let me like should we pet the skitty? Do you guys think we should? This is this is crazy. They're there. Oh, we are petting the skitty. Oh. Pokemon generally gets aggressive when they're in pain. She's so cute. Looks like she's trying to lick her tail too. Check the notebook. Okay, right, we already did. Okay. Um, okay, I guess we have to go up to here. Um, take the tactile toy. Oh, we can give toys to Skitty. Oh, um, this is a very interesting side of the cabinet. Oh, oh <laughs> stupid. Gauze roll used for wrapping wounds. Should I wrap the skitty's tail in gauze until the wounds close? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that was. Oh, hmm, seems like she's too focused on the pain to want a blanket. Oh, okay. So we have a blanket. Cone of shame. <laughs> oh, we probably should. I don't know if we amputate. We could like dress the wound and put the cone of shame on it. Yeah, stops the Pokemon from nibbling at a wound. Or you. Should I keep a cone of shame on Skitty for as long as it takes for her to heal? I don't know yet. I, we might need to amputate. Oh, that's just old gear from when I was a Poke paramedic. Am I too sentimental about it to throw away? Yes, do I care? No. Uh, Take the plain pastry, hot vanilla, canopy grow, the empty cupcake, tin fish, red calcite, water, uh, raw arrow cuda, and prime nectar. Okay. Yeah, what do you guys think we should do here? What do you think? We maybe give it a tail, wrap it in some, uh, wrap some gauze, and then put like the cone of shame. I think that's probably the best, you know? Painkiller? I don't think we have, do we have painkillers? Oh, we do. Uh, painkillers. Okay. Uh, hydro, oh wait, hydrogen peroxide. Um, saline solution, ice pack, and heat pack. Okay, painkillers for sure, right? Well, like we have to, we have to like distract it. Okay, so let's like give it the tactile toy. Is that kind of messed up? We're giving like a toy that's in the shape of like the tail that the Skitty doesn't, most likely will not have later. Look what I've got, Skitty. Skitty, poor thing's inconsolable. Um, okay. Um, I tried to give it. I guess like painkillers then? Yeah. Open wide. She already seems a lot less stressed. Maybe that's the white coat affection in action or it doesn't work the other way around. Okay, awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's do, let's put the cone of shame on. Um, stop the Pokemon from nibbling out of wound. Yes, 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 yes. So we put that. Okay, added the cone of shame to the final treatment list. Uh, and then the, the gauze. Yes. Used for wrapping wounds. Okay. And we got the gauze. Awesome. The timer. Oh, okay. I know you guys like the timer so much. Okay. Um. Oh, look. Look, Skitty's, Skitty's, Skitty's looking so good. 
Look. Oh my god, pet her head. There they are, Skitty. Alright, she's done so much calmer. Oh, but she's still licking the wound. Um, what should I do? Oh, no, whoopsies. Uh, Azazel, thanks for the, uh, 11 months. Cynical, thanks for the, uh, six spooky dudes with the 11. Uh, don't touch... Don't touch it on... Uh, thanks for the four months. Uh, Timbits, thanks for the four months as well. All right. She seems so much calmer. Can you splint and align the tail? If so, it would heal the best, I think. Uh, okay. Th thank you, chat. Uh, what are your accolades, by the way? Like, what, 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 why are you, I know you guys are helping, but like, why, like, what did you, what do you guys do? Like, I'm, how did you guys get here? I mean, I, I'm the doctor, clearly. Vicodin I've been to, addiction for you know. the win. Um, okay. We're not gonna, hopefully we don't give the skitty of Vicodin addiction, you know? Notebook updated with your observations. Okay. Uh, oh, I checked the notebook here, right? Check notebook. Okay. Um, she seems much less in pain. Delcatty here. Just wondering if you've seen my daughter. She's allergic to cones, painkillers, and hates being touched. We're starting to get worried. No, <laughs> don't turn this into like something where like I've stolen this. Like, <laughs> like don't don't act as if everything I do is just wrong. <laughs> like, no, no, no. This will help. I promise. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. Uh, it's just old gear from when I was a Pokemon medic. Um, okay. Uh, do I give it like a, like a, a plain pastry or something? No, probably, probably like some catnip or something. Like the tin fish or something. You know? Okay. And like give it to like the skitty. Yes, that's definitely at least a bit off. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll put it back. Oh, okay. okay. Oopsies. So... What should I do here? Oh, uh, iron tablets, calcium gummies. Oh, probably calcium gummies for the bones, right? Do I want to prescribe calcium gummies as part of the final treatment? Yes. I think so, for the bones, right? Good for sturdy bones, yes! Awesome. Uh, okay, and then uh, wh where was the treatment? How do I, uh, I talked to, I think Obviously, I talked to you. We're fellow vet students on our emergency rotation. I don't know why you decided you're in charge, <laughs> though. No, I'm not a vet student, okay? I am I am a bona fide A grade, A5, uh, prime rib uh, doctor, okay? I got my, like, okay. <laughs> my medical license might not be, like, I, I had a medical license at one point, okay? It's just, like, it's. I'm waiting for it to be renewed taking a couple years but like you know oh we're fine Jancy, i think i have a plan for how we're going to treat skitty yes my current plan okay the current plan to treat skitty wrap the skis tail wound with gods okay give the skitty a cone of shame prescribe three calcium gummies a day question is am i sure it'll work Okay. All right. I need to consult, <laughs> consult the doctors in the room. Um, chat. Do you think it'll work? Do you, do you like? Do you think it's fine? <laughs> uh, we need something to keep it straight. Um, probably not over saline. Oh, disinfect the wound. You're right. Wait, 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 wait. I totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Right. Don't forget to disinfect the wound or we'll be sued for malpractice. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. I, I figured whether whether go lightly can take care of her while she heals. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sail sailing solution. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to get sued by big Pokemon. Uh, yeah, okay. This will only hurt for a second. Now that I'm looking at it, that was probably too much for a wound that shallow. Chat! Are Lawyer here. Don't worry, I'll vouch for your credentials. Thank you, my lawyer. <laughs> that, was, that was too much, dude. Oh, the peroxide then. The peroxide for sure. What if we do sailing and hydrogen peroxide? This is only for a second. Okay. <laughs> really glad that you guys were here to tell me <laughs> to disinfect it. 
because that skinny would have probably died from some bacterial you know like all right we're good hopefully it's not in shock right now um all right now we're good right all right i have a plan for how we're going to treat skitty uh yes okay my current plan right the current plan wrap the skitty's tail wound in gauze give the skitty a cone of shame we have done that okay um to prescribe three calcium gummies a day oh a splint no we're wrapping the tail wait Dude, where wait where's the splint wait check the notebook again okay wait are you sure you're a doctor yeah i'm fairly certain <laughs> <laughs> uh appears to be grooming tail which concerns me yeah yeah we're fine i think wait where do i find the splint what instructions should oh what instructions should i get um it, it okay okay we were wondering if if um go lightly the the person that brought skitty in would like be able to take care of skitty maybe we do a stay in center you know until they're like healed yeah we should probably keep skitty with us until further notice you know yeah so yeah okay so the final treatment list okay is there a splint Did you guys see one there's a blanket here i don't think we need it that's just gauze tourniquet its neck no okay <laughs> that's don't, don't say tourniquet the neck like that's okay uh, i don't think there's a i don't think there's a splint is there did, did i miss it no, these are ice packs and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a... Um, all right, I don't think we can splint it. It's fine. I think we'll go, guys. Okay. Okay. I think I have a plan for how we're going to treat Skitty. Okay. It'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. Uh, Panda Sogma. Thanks for the... Sogma nuts. Uh, thanks for the eight months. All right. Wrap the Skitty's tail wound in gauze. Okay, give the Skitty a kind of shame. Prescribe three calcium gummies a day. The question is, am I sure it'll work? Yes. <laughs> Let's just hope I get don't get sued for malpractice. <laughs> it'll be fine, guys. They won't come for me. Doctor, go lightly. I've come to a decision. Yes. Yes. So I elected not to keep Skitty in my care. Wait, I thought I did. Wait, did I not? Wait, did, chat, did I not? <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> um, and instead, I sent it back to Dr. Golightly. But as it turned out, the Skitty's injuries were much more serious than I thought. <gasps> when I sent her back to Golightly, she still couldn't walk properly. The big tail got in the way. But as we've already established, Dr. Golightly isn't a biologist. He thought it was part of the healing process and that it would eventually pass. It took him two weeks to come back. ranks there's four different ranks and i got the lowest <laughs> i got bronze bro i should have amputated you still think it was his fault i no no of course not <laughs> Okay, we might be being, we might get sued for medical malpractice, you know, soon. All right. Skitty, use tail whip. <laughs> Whoopsies. You didn't look in the cabinet? I thought I did. Um. <laughs> anyways, we're gonna get sued for malpractice, but you know what? It probably won't happen soon. Anyways, we'll probably Inspector be okay. Inspector here, can I see your medical certificate? Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, it's still coming in the mail. Um, don't worry about it though. It'll be, it'll be fine. I'm just, there's, it's totally okay. It's, you know, it's, um, I left for like totally a couple real. minutes and I come back to you killing a cat. Eric, what in the heck? It didn't die, okay? It came back two weeks later with a lot more serious injuries, but it's not dead yet, okay? Anyways, um, that was one hell of a first day.
Hell of an icebreaker, huh? Catty here again. We've searched everywhere and still no news. We're trying to keep hopes up but can't help assuming the worse. Any information is appreciated. <laughs> so, I heard you uh, placed an order for one of those healer machines. Uh, it'll come with our next shipment, right? Uh, yeah. Surprisingly, it wasn't that expensive. Oh, uh, what's it called again? A revive? It's a revive. Uh, two words, uh, not one. Uh, but hey, aren't you a healer? Uh, that's the thing. It's my responsibility to take care of the injured. And however that job looks in the future, like it or not, I'll have to accept the change. That's noble of you. <laughs> Thanks, I try. When's the next shipment arriving, by the way? Uh, I forget. About four days. Who's this? Dr. Aristokrov. Uh, wait, Aristokrov. Aristokov. Aristokov. Uh, Dr. Aristokov. Uh, weather's fantastic this time of year, so it won't be much of a problem. It's only negative nine degrees. Huh. Neat. Yeah, so we are located in the middle of the Antarctic as the last Pokemon Center to not have automatic healing. Huh? What is it, Chansey? Uh, it's half past. I'll, I'll go in a sec, okay? I just hope you won't feel not useless, but it's fine, Scarlet, honestly. Some say if a nurse is doing less work, they're doing something right. Ah, right. Speaking of that, I've got an appointment to get to. Oh, all right, then. I'll let you go. Oh, are... Is is nurse... I, I, are they... Is she, you know, like... That's so cute. Is Scarlet and her... Four days before ice break. What? Four days before ice break? Oh, we're, we can like roam around the hospital now. What? What is this? Don't worry. Animal protective devices are going to drag the doctor away before they can sue. <laughs> Dedicated to Apollo Ferguson. First man to reach the South Pole. What is this? Statue of for Kyogre, heart of the Southern Ocean. Cool. Uh, Dear Groudon, Saeeda heart point, of the last continent. We have been informed that you falsely claim to be a board certified veterinarian. That's fraud. Um, this is your first and final warning. You get a wait, you get a warning for that? They don't just like say you can't practice medicine anymore? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Don't worry. We got one warning. All right, we'll be good. Uh Pokémon Center. Uh home sweet home. Uh this is cool. Wow. Um, what is this? Lounge. This is a pretty cool game. Um, yeah, this is, this was made in like a game jam. And like, I think it, it correct me if I'm wrong, like 48 hours or something. This is really cool. He better clean this up. Uh, he better clean this up. Um, yeah, let me, let me get the, uh, credits really quick for you. Um, Probably should have done it at the beginning, so apologies. Um, but this was created um, by a non-alpaca. Um, so huge thank you to a non-alpaca for creating something pretty cool. What's this? Oh! This is a little bit out of the way. Clementine's locked it. I'm not going to let dogs out. Okay. This is like the, the back end. Pretty cool. Okay. I have a large pizza to deliver. Please let me in the door. You've been <laughs> served. <lately> studying. <laughs> okay. I just want to check out all of the... Oh, it's an Espeon. Yo. Dr. Garcia's Espeon. It's usually pretty dis uh, disinterested in me, but maybe... Uh, if get you're help the you? last Nurse Joy, maybe it's for the best if you go extinct. <laughs> Wait. No. Everything's fine. Yo, that's like un that's uncalled for. We've only like injured one skitty, okay? It, we've only have one count of medical malpractice. Um, Espeon decided to help, maybe? Okay. Okay, so we have Espeon now. It's a strange glittery rainbow stone. What looks like DNA strand in the middle. I assume it's relevant for Garcia's study in evolutionary biology. Can't imagine any uh why Elsie'd have it. <gasps> They're studying mega stones! That's so cool point crow kicks puppies and now kills cats <laughs> I, the, the the cat's still alive guys <gasps> there's a oh. 
Oh, there's, there's a Del Caddy here. Del Caddy, there you are. Inspector here. He'll be back to check on the medical certificate later. Yeah, just don't worry. Come back later. Um, anyways, pet them. Uh, are you sure you can't go back on this? Do we, do we pet the cat? Why is it? Oh, it doesn't have a tail. Eric, just for your information, a skitty is not a puppy. Do not kick it. Oh my God, that's the skitty. It doesn't have a tail. Maybe I don't pet it. Still a little shy around me, it seems. I don't think I should pet it. I don't think I don't think I should. Eric I, Nutcracker Marino, kicker of puppies, killer of skitties. I the skitty is alive. It's a Del Caddy now. Uh, Gothiel, um, Doctor Will, uh, Ida, uh, there you are. Uh, how are you? I haven't been able to talk with you for a while. Uh, it's a disc actually, not unlike a record. Does it play music or a message? Yes, actually, it's a copy uh, of one me and a few colleagues put uh, in a time capsule. Uh, I would tell you what was on it, but I forgot. Uh, isn't that why you made the copy? Maybe, but then I put it in a glass case. Uh, Dr. Will, uh, there you are. Okay, how are you? I haven't been able to talk to you for a while. Uh, are you looking forward to the ship? Well, they'll be bringing in the letters from home, so yes. Oh, so the icebreaker. So four days before the icebreaker. The icebreaker is the ship that's delivering stuff to us. Or you've ordered one of those revive things for the facility. Oh, so we only have four days left of like... Okay, we only have four days left of, like, healing people before we actually get the machine in. Uh, well, it's going to be interesting to adjust to. How much I can say. Uh, Chase Kitty, thanks for the 27 months. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. I appreciate it. You know what? That's fair enough. All right. Um, let me exhaust all the dialogue options. Fine, we'll pet the... Jet, should we pet the kitty yes or no? Uh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing quite well myself. Okay, well, it's, you know. Got the L predicted a breakup in the sea ice today. Oh. Uh, not enough to let the bigger ships in the harbor, uh, mind you, but just enough for me to sail out. And from there, I'll pick up one of the sail drones that's been drifting around the Southern Ocean. What's a sail drone? Those tiny orange solar-powered ships that sails around on its own. Oh, those! Uh, I imagine not having to do it yourself must have been a relief. Well, uh, yes, yes it was. Honestly, I, at this point, I'm too old to deal with a capsized boat. Okay. Uh, Dr. Will? Ida, there you are. How are you? I haven't been able to talk with you for a while. Oh, I fuck. I fucked it up. Yeah, should I pet it? You, some of you guys are like really adamant. I don't though. Okay. Let me uh, do the last dialogue option. I'm curious. Oh, 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 we have S spirit. Oh, that's the Espeon we got. Um, likes to relax, has synchronize. Cool. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll be able to use that for later. Um, okay. Pet the cat, Eric. <laughs> okay, maybe. I'm in a rush. Oh, okay. That's, that was the last one. Okay. Uh, someone else wants Pokemon care advice, I'm guessing? Uh, Dr. Taijiri, actually. Okay. Probably a nice person. You didn't hear that from me, though. Yeah! Okay. Uh, let's go in these, uh, these rooms. Oh, these are where the Pokemon are staying. Wow! The fact that Cast Worm even exists always amazes me. Imagine making your own Pokemon purely to predict the weather. Uh, Hoenians uh, are mad, I tell you. Uh, it's Scarlet's Arta Altaria. Uh, I think it's trying to make a nest. That's so cute. Awesome Silver Fox Dowling. Thanks for the 11 months. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub. Uh, okay, nothing's in here. Uh, Blissey Award. <laughs> now, word to the Moore California Pokemon Center and staff for the commitment, insight, and love for the job. Yard of Eden. Thanks for the 33 months. Oh, what's this? Uh, get ready, pop science. Astronomy isn't just for the nerds anymore. Here's five celebrities bringing stars down to Earth. One, Stella Luna Andrews. <laughs> oh, Taijiri, what have you been reading? <laughs> Sorry, couldn't hear that Hoenn slander over all these trumpets. Dude, I love Hoenn so much. A beast with a ring tail rampages over a fiery metropolis. I'm being honest, it looks like a Pokemon drew this. Uh, knowing Cassandra, it probably was. Um, that's, uh, Reshiram, right? No, that's Zekrom. Uh, and, wow, that's cool. That's a cool, uh, Gen 5 reference. Yo, it's a Weavile! Hello! You're gonna have to try a little harder if you want to scare me. Grab. Uh, Fidget Fries, thanks for the months. Dude, I gotta tell you, like, where's the, uh, what, what's that one? Um, it's like Rayquaza. Is it, is the Rayquaza theme? 
Um, I had a dream last night that you played Mario Kart Earl and you died. So sorry. No, no, it's it's like the Elite Four theme or whatever. Synth, it's not the Cynthia theme, maybe. There's like this. W w which one's like the one with the trumpets? Like the the trumpets, you know. Eric no. Point Cromarino, kicker of puppies, fake veterinarian, denier of pets. Okay. Hey. No, no. What, what's what's the classic? You know what? You know what, it's like with the trumpets. Chat. Like what is it? Is it the Elite Four? It is the Elite Four. Okay. There's there's a really fun animation. I wonder if I can find it. I'm, this is why I'm asking. Yeah, oh, it's right here. Okay. Like, I love this. I love this so much. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> you go, my kid. Wait for it. Hello, here is your mail order. It's so good, dude. Yeah, the bayonet's like tripping too. Uh, in chat, here's the, uh, it's one of my favorite videos, like, of all time. I kid you not. Uh, here's the, uh, uh, here's the link, by the way, if you want it. Uh, I just thought that would be, like, really fun. Uh, la, 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 there it is. Like, I love that so much. It just made me, like, love Hoenn so much more, you know? There's one for Cynthia, too. Really? Oh, Sinner Snow Road. Wait, really? Is this it? Is reposting this video on today's... Oh, you know what? I don't know if I can react to this. I don't want to, like, do that to them. If that makes sense. Okay. Um... I, I would normally, but they, I think, explicitly put in their title. They don't want that. So, okay. Um, all right. Um, all right. Here we go. Um, so, Pokemon Center. Let's go down here. We haven't been down this way. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is like the the um, locker room. Cool. Is this gambling? Is this, wait, is this triple triad? Oh, my God. Cool. What's this? Uh, Dr. Aristokov's half-fixed hard drive. Cool. All right, fine. I'll pet the cat. I'll pet the cat. You guys wanted me to pet the cat. I think it's a bad idea, but we'll pet the cat. No catty. Uh, there you are. Pet them. Do it. Are you sure you can't go back on this? Yes. Del Caddy now appreciates you. It's a little shy around me, it seems. <laughs> why did they make it so scary? <laughs> like, why? Okay. All right, we're still good. It's, it's all fine, guys. Up here. Just wanted to months. drop in and say happy birthday and thank you for getting me addicted to Pokemon Infinite Fusion. I'm glad Crowl. you like Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Um, however, um, it is not my birthday. All right, let's continue. All right, um, I guess we go to the Pokemon Center, guys. Do you want? Um, wait, can I go down here? Oh, wait, whoa! <gasps> it's a botanical garden. Oh my God! Wait, is this an Oddish? That's so funny. Uh, and, and Illumise. Hello. It's Dr. Tajiri's Volbeat. Oh, never mind. Whoopsies. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, shit. This is pretty cool. Yeah, this is like the Antarctic center. Happy uh, birthday. It's not. <laughs> J2E, thanks for the six months. Okay. Uh, Dr. Tajiri, good to see you. All right. We got another patient here. Likewise. Uh, first of all, thank you for taking the time to do this. 
Everything's been piling up all at once. The neutrino telescope needs cleaning. Scarlet wanted to meet with me, and now this. Uh, it's no problem. Is that a Pikachu? What's wrong with your Pikachu, my guy? I was having a slow day anyway. So what's bothering him? Well, as you can see, he's all fluffed up. He's grumpy about it too. I can't even brush him properly without getting a shock. And obviously don't tell him this. What, yesterday? I think he fried my laptop's motherboard. <laughs> well, did he or didn't he? I, I got a Pokedex in my office. Yes, but I, I'll just put him back in the ball. Keep him on the operating table. I'm sure he won't destroy anything. So it's probably nothing life-threatening. <laughs> probably, you know? I'll just take these tissues. Honestly, either way, it's probably a good idea if I can keep him away from your electronics. Yeah, basically. Thanks again for taking him. All right, new patient. You ready? Uh, let me know if you figure out what's the matter with Pikachu. And uh, can I visit you if anything comes up? Uh, yes? Uh, don't worry, I'll knock. Good, great. Uh, sayonara. Uh, wait, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Is, did I get that kind of correctly? Um, it, the man's, it was fixing his lap. The man's was fixing his laptop and then the Pikachu shocked him and he was like, let me grab some tissues really quick. I'll be over there fixing my laptop. Why are there so many bots? Oh my god. <laughs> They're not... <laughs> That's not bots. <laughs> That's my chat being idiots. <laughs> That's what happened, guys. That's that's what happened. Um, you guys... It's, it's you guys spamming the chat. And that's how he broke his laptop. So that's that's on you guys. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's not my birthday, but thank you. <laughs> uh, Kyle, thanks for the prime. Thank you. Okay. Who keeps an electric type in an astrophysics lab anyways? I know, crazy, right? Sorry. I know that's not the point. All right, guys. You ready for... Listen, um... the kids are gone. The man's got to get some time to himself. <laughs> All right, guys. I think for this one... We need to suit up properly, all right? This one might be a little rough around the edges, but we gotta, we gotta grab, uh, be safe, get the glove. Let's do it. All right, turn on the light real quick. Begin! Hey, yo, let's go. All right, I suspect this is a case where I'll just need to tell Dr. Tajir what this Pokemon's come down with. And maybe a nurse's order or prescription to go with it. Should be easy enough. I'm having trouble though. I finally got all my books sorted. And um, my thinking chair looks awfully cozy. Okay. Um. Whoa, look, look, look at him. He's so fuzzy. Okay. I shouldn't pet their head, right? Because like, it's electric. Like he's like electric. What chat? Why is he so fuzzy though? Uh, sit and watch. Let's do that. What does he do? Oh! Oh! He's just sick! Oh my god! He has a little cold! And a little- he's just- that's adorable! Okay, 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 okay. Good to know. Okay, we can't- we can't touch him though, right? And we can't use any electronic equipment. It's very important. All right, we'll check the notebook. We have written nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see. What should we do here? We can't use the x-ray, obviously. Uh, a blood analysis. No, we don't have to do blood analysis on this. Uh, probably the thermometer for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the thermometer. 40 degrees Celsius. Oh my God, we got a fever. <laughs> or he's a Pikachu. A Pikachu. Oh my God, is that what? <laughs> is that why he has a cold? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> he is a little cold. He is a Pikachu. Oh, uh, four degrees Celsius. Now, 
I don't know about you guys, but ever since I started losing my job to those machines, right? All right, I've been rejecting everything that comes my way. I mean, Celsius, back in you know back in my day here on here on this Antarctic, we use freedom units. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, 40 degrees Celsius. That's pretty high. Seems like it's feverish. Okay. So it does have a fever. Um, a stethoscope for sure. Check this out. Uh, wow. Holy shit. Oh my God. The BPM. This thing <laughs> seems high. Y yeah. You mean this? I mean, I know it's an animal, not a human. But like, come on. Appropriate beef, by the way. A blood pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably should have the cuff for blood pressure. Yeah. Is it high blood pressure? Uh, yes. Yeah, so that's very high. 140. <laughs> uh, the butterfree needle. Um, I don't think we need the needle yet. Um, r the draconic readout. No, no, no. Uh, you're not a dragon type. Oh, uh, the electro counter is probably it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably need that for this. Finally, I can use right because you're electric type. All right, seven kilovolts, 3.7 millijoules. <laughs> hold on, ho hold on. This thing only is supposed to output electricity when Pikachu uses moves. Is it constantly buzzing with that much uh, electricity right now? Hmm. Oh, wait, what is this? This is new. Uh, in the rare event that I run out of ideas, I usually sit here for a while. Oh, it's a hint. Oh, oh, it's, uh, I don't need a hint. Oh, okay. So we can get hints if we need. Nah, we're good. Right, that's why he's fuzzy. Okay, so we've determined that the Pikachu right now is constantly uh, emitting electricity, probably because it has a cold. Um, uh, we don't need painkillers or hydrogen peroxide or saline. Uh, maybe like an ice pack for now. Yeah. This should help. You want me to put it on your head? There you go. Yes, we got that right. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. He's so cute. Uh, we shouldn't pet their head, though. We shouldn't, because, you know. Uh, notebook updated with the observations. Okay. Um, okay, so... Oh, whoa. We get the read... Their vitals. <gasps> we got the readout. Oh, my God. We got their vo the voltage, the blood pressure, the temperature. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see. Should we give you, like, a some no not water definitely not water uh calcite nectar plain pastry all right probably like a pa plain pastry like maybe feed it to maybe it'll be like all right you know mm, they couldn't finish it oh gloves okay take i know these are nitrile all right the the not they're not rubber but we gotta we gotta put these things on guys important okay very important we we don't touch this thing uh unless we have rubber gloves okay perfect uh latex gloves press you from anything you might want to get from touching a pokemon okay 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 so now we now we can pet him okay all right we, now we can pet their head with the gloves on oh look at him ah! <laughs> that's so that's so cute <laughs> Happy birthday. Not my birthday. Um, okay, okay, okay. Step away. Okay. Um, let's see. A blanket? No, 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 no. Oh, I don't think we need blanket. Whoopsies. <gasps> Wait, actually, no, for like a cold, right? Too hot for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a blanket. Not a blanket. Um, not Rodents we don't need gauze. tend to have faster heart rates. Mice are around 500 plus BPM. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, I don't know which vitamins we need to use here. Let me, like, do some, like, research. Uh, tops, tails, bells, and whistles. Uh, untrainables. What is this? Wait, he's playing Pokemon? Yeah. I... Wait, I'm so... <laughs> Do not think I... What do you... <laughs> Dude... <It>, yeah. <laughs> I checked the... <laughs> this is... <laughs> Minecraft, IRL, Pokemon, Elden Ring, Pokemon, 
Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I, I play Pokemon often. In defense, it, it, it looks like you're playing a hospital sim. Oh, oh, yeah. We're playing a hospital simulator. Happens to be Pokemon. <laughs> Jinx to June, thanks for the uh, 15 months. Okay, before the post-Flower War uh, renegotiation, Kalos, Galar, and Unova operated under the idea that Pokemon did not have a consciousness. Oh, a being could either have the ability to feel pain uh, and experience or the magic powers Pokemon possessed. No, not both. This is like, we're getting into the politics of this world. Pokemon were seen as the bane of individualism, things that had to be kept in check lest they run rampant, uncaring to us who they hurt. Still debated whether these draconic practices had roots in legitimate fear of Pokemon or with the wish to control them. However, trading with the now blossoming region of Sinnoh had passed new ideas like merits of spirit and the sentience of Pokemon onto the merchant class. This concept of Pokemon as family became extremely popular with the upper class of Kalos and the untradeable Pokemon as a uh, de deific figure quickly became a staple of art. Uh, faced with the possibility of their supposed weapons now being considered living beings, faced with the anticipated expansion of surrounding regions, the Kalosian military staged a coup. Wow. And that's the first act of the Flower War. It can be under, uh, said that our understanding of levels, individual values, and experience values comes from positive reinforcement. Those who believe in the classical method of Pokemon psychology argue that anything above the uh, anthropomorphism and nothing less. Uh, take, for example, a Nicket that likes to steal your things. One method of curbing this would be sit down with your Pokemon and show it that stealing is wrong. Methods of this human-like teaching can include pictures, roleplay, all this stuff, right? Um, classical conditioning. However, it's much lower success rate than simple positive and negative reinforcement. Pokemon have sent natures. Uh, if a Nicket is hardwired to be unable to distinguish mine from yours, wouldn't it be more ethical to not force it to change these ideas? All a matter of what you consider respect to be. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going through like actual behavioral therapy here. Like what's... This is insane. Um, the sick leave. Yes! That's what we need. Uh, common symptoms of the coughing, sore throat, clear phlegm, headache, fever, generally about a week. Ice types appear to be largely immune to the common cold. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, that makes sense. Ice types are immune to cold. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Um, the Pokemon strain of common cold cannot be passed to humans. Unless you want to start the whole Last of Us stuff. And in which case, you know, like we got some cordyceps going on here, right? Skip the lore. No, I don't think I will. Um, I think it's really fun. And I'm going to play it the way I want to play it. Um, okay. Uh, so common warm is actually the other thing um okay the name of this disease is commonly no relation to the severity of the fever it caused but instead to the fact that the strain of common cold only affects ice types okay um maybe phase out in favor of simply be calling the common cold okay um allergen okay so 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 far the the pikachu doesn't have a common cold or warm um let's see I don't, it hasn't it doesn't have welts or anything oh well it does have sneezing streaming and runny nose um, allergen specialists are trained to find what's be setting off your Pokemon's immune system. Um, only give your Pokemon the recommended, uh, recommended amount of antihistamines. If your Pokemon is severely agitated, lethargic, aggressive, or sneezing, call a Pokemon Center immediately. That's me. Uh, or the flu. Okay. Some Pokemon, such as electric types. Okay, we have an electric type Pokemon here. Dragon types or ghost types. Immune responses don't manifest as a fever. Oh, they, oh, they are though. Um, hypophilesia? Elongated limbs? What? Um, yeah, this only affects a specific branch of grass type Pokemon. No, this isn't, this isn't what we have. Okay. Uh, Hyper Super Leah, decreased attack power, blunts supernatural abilities, depression. Okay. Um, this uh, is, this only affects Pokemon power stem from, uh, dragon types and psychic types. Uh, this is only ghost types, um, uh, which is, okay. Uh, rock types and grass types, uh, only steel types here. Um, uh, a dual type Pokemon can temporarily lose immunity of its own poison, an autotoxin. Wait, so it probably has the common cold. Right? But we, like, what do you guys think it has, chat? Like, it's like either the common cold or it has the flu. Because it did have like, it has a high fever. You think the flu? Because it, yeah, well, it has a fever, but it's not like a high fever, you know? Okay. Um, what's this? Uh, the elemental fundamentals. Sure. Um, 
super uh the subjective supernatural scale okay zero explained by biology biogescent answer by biological basis but not by biology theoretical um paranormal and then transcendent cool normal type okay so we just have like a whole bunch of like okay electric type um some electric types can change their uh, charge their own body's immune response similar to the human fever okay unlike human blood it appears that the blood of electric types is somehow not paramagnetic meaning the cardiovascular function is unaffected by strong magnetic fields however if the how the nervous system remains functional is still unexplained uh subjective supernatural high theoretical this is pretty cool actually this is so sick <laughs> i like there's i love the fourth zap <laughs> you know like in this i i don't know i don't know if it's the flu or the cold guys oh we have a pokedex oh okay uh in the pokedex we have pikachu here <laughs> okay so he's, oh we're in the uh essen region this is cool okay yeah so that's the okay um so i guess it's the flu um okay well how do i what do i what do we do here um check notebook okay nothing new here what do you guys think no i can't take a blood test yeah uh which instructions should i give probably a rest order right yeah i'd say like a rest order because it seems like a cold you know maybe some vitamins which vitamins like how do i know which vi oh god um take the pokey preservation uh the safari zone all right so this is like preservation about it park to encompass the remaining chancy rooks uh in uh kanto rumored dratini colony parks lake um Dollars were private. Oh, wait. <laughs> Formed initially as a conservation area for commonly trafficked Pokemon, the uh, Kanto Safari Zone was there at the wrong place at the wrong time. The park was built to encompass one of the last remaining chances, uh, as well as a rumored Dratini colony. Uh, the owner wanted the park's visitors to come away with new awareness of Pokemon trafficking. While the Kanto Park Group was intended to build a publicly owned funded Kanto League, the money that was supposed to pay for the guards was either not provided or siphoned away from other projects. Eventually, in 1980s, the owners were forced to privatize it and run the organization for profit, first charging for entry, then charging additional money for the opportunity to catch this Pokemon using methods like rock throwing or baiting. Oh my god. So the Kanto Safari Zone is a privatized like a hunting grounds oh no supposedly the decision to ban pokemon battling within the walls was to give a mere equal chance to the pokemon but critics have called the practice abusive and anti uh anti uh, antithetical to the park's central message i was claiming the reason for the park's underfunded state was rampant corruption within the canto league but that's sometimes seen as a, a apologism that's so oh my god what the hell uh the great marsh for the great marsh park however the idea of a blanket ban this is in Sinnoh, uh on pokemon battling actually came before the rest the great marsh was act as a uh, habitat for pokemon due to the boggy ground it was under little to no threat of urban development uh, however the extreme biodiversity made it special interest to hardcore trainers almost became of a test what kind of quagmire are you willing to slog through to catch them all Naturally, this led to becoming a popular battling, a battling location uh, with mud runs and mud battles. Um, such battles put extreme strain on the local flora and fauna, with 100-year-old tree being uprooted after a misplaced earthquake. In response to this, the uh, Pastoria City Council elected to place a blanket ban on all battles on the Great Marsh. Public outcry was loud and unpleasant, but the council refused to back down. Instead of rebanding the marsh as an area of refined scientific conservation. Uh, the fees charged at entry now go towards funding school trips, local events, and keeping the old Carvana, the tram, in working order as it has for 50 years. Oh, okay, this is where we are, actually. Okay, so this is the lore of where we are. Uh, and Taxius is an example of the most extreme form of Pokemon conservation, one that can only be achieved with strict regulation and international cooperation. Under the Antaxan Treaty Act of 1930s, no individual region can claim sovereignty over any part of Ant uh, Antaxius. Alongside land, political power, and international recognition, Pokemon can also play a key part in what defines sovereignty. And as such, no one nation can claim a colony of Pokemon as theirs. Furthermore, the treaty prohibits any interaction with Pokemon that could interfere with, uh, interfere with the natural order. 
catching protected Pokemon is prohibited, but can be approved for scientific purposes. Um, uh, if a board of conservation votes in its favor and the Pokemon must be properly released, promptly released an intentional battling of protected Pokemon is given more or less equal weight. In other regions, such as the cases of free will fights, uh, are usually treated much more favorably as keeping your Pokemon's behavior in check is only skill learned through doing. But in Taxius, the average age of resident scientists is over 40, more than enough time to be held accountable for any mistakes. Uh, an example of why context is so important. Surprisingly controversial is the clause that scientists should minimize interactions with protected Pokemon, uh, including directly positive ones. On arrival, scientists are warned that they will see at least one Pokemon that is frozen to death or worse, one that is dying. The argument that uh, for it is that saving Pokemon can interfere with the natural order, um, which is exactly what many resident scientists are studying. Uh, this is in stark contract with reasons such as Sinnoh, where the duty to rescue is both legally enforceable and applies to a trainer's Pokemon. This brings up an interesting question, still pondered by lawmakers. At what point is a Pokemon no longer part of the natural order? It's cool. Uh, Chat, I know this is a lot of reading and a lot of like medical whatever the fuck uh, and political stuff, but I find this is so incredibly interesting. Um, so I will keep reading it as long as it does hold my interest and I hope you guys do enjoy it anyways, you know, uh, I love lore, you know, um, and so, um, yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, okay. So we got all this. So we have like the common, it's, it has the common cold, right? Um, you know, so what should we do for this? Not a not a blood analysis. Well, I don't I don't have a blood sample. I don't want a blood sample. A toxin test. Yeah, this pig has not been poisoned though, right? Like right. Um, we gave you a cold pack. What vitamins? Vitamin C. Okay. All right, we'll give a vitamin C. Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Uh, stay at home. Vitamin C. You're probably good to go. Um. Common colds. Okay, so it definitely has. It's we're we're prescribing this as a common cold. Um, vitamin B maybe as well. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm assuming it's good for electric types. Oh, your bag's full. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Um, oh, our bag. Okay, so this is, this is, whoa, this is so cool. Okay, so our bag, like, shows us, like, what our prescription is. So rubber gloves, for sure. A rest order, because you just feel better. It'll go away soon. And then also, uh, vitamin C for common colds. Um... What is, uh, can I check what the vitamins do? Uh, vitamin A. Okay. But your bag's full. Wait, um. Wait, you know, what if I give a, okay. Should I give the electric type of water? <laughs> is that like a bad idea? Distracting toy. We don't need the, the toys. What's the run? Okay, so I get I'm I'm getting a lot of questions on what's happening, what's what's going on, what's the run, well, all this stuff. Um, it if you stay for five seconds and then get the context, you might like see what it is rather than just like be like tell me everything right now. Um, however, I will still tell you anyways. Um, point in case, literally right there. Literally, you see it? You see it? What's the stream today? You do? There's no. Um, uh, we're playing uh this fan game called um. <laughs> the last nurse joy where we are um uh we are uh, the the last nurse joy without uh the automatic reviving machine the revive um and uh, uh we are treating pokemon currently that's basically what it is um so um okay oh my old glove from days moonlighting as a pokemon paramedic it has a big gaudy badge uh on it which is the only reason why i don't wear it now the days when I could park crowds just by showing the back of my hand, interrogating trainers in the crowd, the light bulb moments, the highs and the lows, the incredible stress of it all. And I do mean incredible. Once the revive is fully distributed, that profession may die with it. Oh. Uh, okay, I think we might be good. I think we might be good. It just like stay at home treatment. You're good to go. All fine, you know? Um, you should create a nonsense stream and never explain what's happening. I, <laughs> I think... I get annoyed by repeating myself like 15 million times, but it's like completely understandable with like streaming where like, you know, um, it's understandable when streaming, you know, to explain it constantly, but I feel, um, bad doing that. How can we play this? Google is your friend. <laughs> it's like common things like that, you know, and I, I, it's my, it's my character flaw to, to acknowledge it so often and 
and so you know but it's like you have the entire world at your fingertips and yet you do not you know vitamin c yeah um i think i know what's wrong with pikachu at the least needs to rest um need more time to pin down what it is no i check we have the vitamin c right there uh chancy uh, i think i know what'd be wrong with pikachu um uh, at the very least i know it needs to rest um i think i continue i believe they come down with cold uh should i tell dr taijiri that i would recommend the pokemon eat well but not much else i'm you know what what's a doctor if you're not sure about your diagnosis you know <laughs> can't go worse than the skitty i'm sure of it right if i remember correctly his dorm is the third on the right it's fine guys it'll be okay it's not medical malpractice if i'm correct uh Viowalker, walker thanks for the 20 months pokemon world thanks for the prime happy birthday okay uh third door on the right this one no oh uh third door on the right taijiri sorry uh were you in the middle of something? sir i need you to get rid of the glove reach out and gently lower that hand onto the head of this pie catcho gotta confirm there's no overflow in electricity by feeling it yourself that's not how that works <laughs> zadanek thanks for the bribe oh just soldering um how Plug is pikachu your phone into are they the still pikachu. fluffed up uh well yes there isn't anything i could do about that the good news is you just have to keep pikachu in your dorm it just has a cold it'll recover in time maybe one or two days oh isn't that great pikachu what are you yes. doing with those gloves uh, that's on. a relief isn't it no point crow no not there oh god god damn it it wasn't really anything well not absolutely nothing but oh you get the picture take care you two i'm going to go but i'll watch the vod when i have the chance uh yes all right pikachu uh, you can come with me by the way not a, not an airport you don't need to announce your departure um you can come with me to the telescope if you really want no don't do that okay okay what's our ranking here oh my god i totally forgot and we needed to have it stay at the pokemon center because we're gonna ruin the telescope because he's irresponsible with his pikachu Oh! I thought this was Breath of the Wild. Happy birthday, by the way. Oh, I'm a terrible doctor, and I'm awful for this locate. Like, I'm awful for this this Antarctic excursion. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, it's fine. You know, they gave me a, the. the I metal came here to avoid learning. Why must games contain actual textbooks? Because it's fun. All right. Oh no, it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The Pikachu's fine. The telescope's okay. I already got a warning for medical malpractice. There's no way that I'm going to get my license revoked. Don't, don't. The skinny incident was a one-time gig. Bio Walker, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Regano, thanks for the 34 months. Thank you so much. Uh, also, good to see you back, by the way. It's been a, it's been a hot second, and I'm glad that you popped back in. Um, so, uh, that's how my star data had to... Uh, that's how one of my star data hard drives half a year old got fried by a pikachu y yeah whoops <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> i don't want to be harsh but you shouldn't have let electric type in a room full of hard drives exactly i suspect it was more the case of pikachu always went with him and he didn't know how to say no but that's just my own two poke dollars so i could have told him keep the pikachu in the dorm and that's a yeah, relax All right relax um it's one mistake and it can hardly be even called yours and besides what happens in in taxes stays in in taxes uh ah fair enough i wait what do you mean by what by what happens in in taxis stays in in taxis oh it's just a saying wait is there something more sinister going on here like is there something going on if something bad happens here it won't follow you back home so to speak it someone say i was leaving oh 
Oh. Well, no, but... Jean. Oh, did Scarlet say... No, 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 no. Scarlet didn't say something. Right, right, right. Oh, sorry. Have, have a good, good night then. Three days before ice break. Three days before we get the machine. And we, um, apparently, we lose our job as the last actual Nurse Joy. Uh, my place is the second on the right. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, God. We're literally getting iced. Uh, okay. I think it's trying to make a nest. All right. We, we've already seen this. All right, but we're fine. Hello, Our medical Wendifer. license is fine. You know, um, like, like we won't like, we're good. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine, guys. Oh, it's Larvesta. Sheesh. It's cold tonight. Night, Larvesta. Thanks for warming the bed. Much appreciated. Oh, night, Chansey. R.I.P. Night, Dell. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, you're not there. Wait, where'd the Del Caddy go? And on the eve of midwinter, as the bell tower strikes log midnight on the Sinoan League, a young child takes the final steps of their Pokemon journey. What is happening right now? <laughs> the old champion shall pass on to finally bring in the new. She guards the Hall of Fame. She thinks you're a scrub. She's Champion Ida! You better run while you can, kid. I've won with the same team for 20 years. What do you have over me? Just one? Oh, we're dreaming. Hey, I hate your Elite Four. They're selfish and they're frauds and they're mean and they make my Pokemon faint. They're not meant to do that, you know? Aren't you going to heal me so it's fair? If you don't, I'm going to tell on you. Huh? If you try out... What in the... The cold. You. It's okay. I'll find a blanket. What is she doing? What is happening? It's okay, Z. Just... Think of it chasing a bunnelby or something. Just don't fall asleep. What is happening? Okay, so we we started dreaming like we started dreaming of like I guess the days of like if we were a champion, and then we heard something in the other room, and it's it's uh, what's going on? Just don't fall asleep. How does this keep happening? It's winter. That's why. Uh, Hoennians are wimps about the cold. Ida, Ida. Y yes, Scarlet. It's me. You're awake. I am now. I might need help. Look, if you need your thermostat fixed, ask Tajiri. I said, you know, I should probably just show you. Do you mind? Well, now you've made me curious. What is happening? What's going on with the Zuelos? Oh, listen, I'm sorry I woke you up so early. No, 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 I can see the problem. Yeah, I got up this morning. Zuelos had gone stalking about the facility. All the hearts gone out of my dorm. And he's down there on the carpet trying to drag himself. Literally drag himself over to me. He's never done that before. Look at him. He's barely holding his head up. I don't know much about hypothermia, but... Oh my god! I think he's past the point where one sheet blanket's gonna help, yes. You have the more advanced blankets? Y yeah, you could, you could say that. Yeah, let's, let's get him warmed up, huh? Yeah, okay, cool. I'll be waiting at the reception desk. Oh my god! We got a medical emergency going! Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. We go up here. Ready? Hi. Actually, let me let me let me uh let me go explore a little bit more <laughs> real quick. Hey, Del Caddy. Del Caddy. Oh, there you are. The Del Caddy now appreciates you even more than it already did. Oh, it's a little shy around me, it seems. Hello, Gathiel. Uh, these are our other researchers. Doctor Will, welcome back. How was your sailing trip? Oh, uh, as well as it can go. You see, I was listening to that storm last night, and I was thinking, how is she still alive? The weather here can go to hell in a matter of minutes, can't it? You know, sometimes I wonder that myself. How do you do it? Well, occasionally, Gothiel will give me a vision of something bad that's going to happen to us. They usually manifested as nightmares in which I uh, drown or freeze to death. Ah. <laughs> but eventually, me and Gothiel made a deal where she would paint out those particular dreams instead. In a sense, I could then choose when I looked at it, instead of being forced to live through it. 
Wait. So the... Wait, but... The painting in his room is of Zekrom burning a city. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, wait, I can also take off these gloves, right? You know, like I don't I don't I don't need these for the Pikachu anymore. We're all good. Um Yeah, the painting in your room. Yes, that one has nothing to do with me, however. Oh? She just thought it fell into the category of dreams that I wouldn't have wanted to live through. The big white dragon. Oh, it's oh it's not Zekrom, it's Rush Ram. Rampaging through a city on fire. Yes. Nacarine City, to be exact. I doubt I'll be there when it happens, but seeing as its whole region's at stake, I'm sure someone else will fix it. Or you could put it in an art gallery? Oh my god. How does it save you? Uh, well, I see it as a reminder to take an extra life jacket or stay away from the edge of the boat. Sometimes I'll cancel the trip entirely if there's a bad enough storm on the way. Uh, would it not terrify you a little bit? If you think about it, uh, there's many points in your life where you could die. I just get to see them. Which is good, seeing as I'm a futurologist. What the hell? Uh, Alexix, uh, thanks for the uh, uh, tier one subscription. Legendary, thanks for the three months. Um, how did you teach her? Oh, I just handed her some acrylic paint, some paintbrushes, and she just went. That's so creepy. Uh, that's so creepy, dude. Like, actually. Okay. Dude, I, I was like totally being like, this might be just like a fun one-off stream. Holy shit, this might be actually like a really good YouTube video. <laughs> you could call it that. Oh my God. Okay, uh, let's let's go in and uh, see about everything else. Yeah, this is this is Reshiram, a beast with a ring tail rampages over flaming metropolis. And be honest, it looks like a Pokemon tree, this. Right. Knowing Cassandra, it probably was. Yep. That's really cool. Yeah, we're, we're like, yeah. Yo. You're gonna have to try a little harder if you want to scare me. Good for YouTube. All right, you can say hi. Yeah, at the very least, say hi to the VOD frogs, all right? You know? The classic VOD frogs. Uh, who are probably gonna watch this like after the fact. Hi, VOD frogs. Hello. Appreciate you guys. You're, you're really cool. The plane to Unova is leaving from gate number 14 in 5 minutes. The plane to Kanto is delayed by 10 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> wake up, David. We need you to wake up, please. Alright, signing Mega Evolution over there. Alright. All right, let's let's see what's wrong with this uh, Zwellos. Oh, wrong spot. What are these? Uh, Dr. Garcia's flower pattern wheat bag. Oh, cool. TV? Can we watch it? No, okay. Blanket on the. This is pretty cool. Okay. Right. That was a comment from 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I like to pause and unpause uh, TTS so then I can like really focus on the story for beats and like it'll like play later so you know um paragon pink thanks for three months okay this is Zuelos. uh hey scarlet okay what's Zuelos like is there anything i should know about him well first off uh them fits better um right since there's two heads are technically two separate consciousnesses oh them okay the one on the right i call uh right <laughs> if i'm dressing with them i call them z <laughs> okay so <laughs> so so on the on the <laughs> You call the one on the left left? Neither of them are good at sharing. How do you feed them? I, it's a process. What I do is uh, I make them their dinner. And here's the key. I pretend it's for me. Oh? I make them a uh, uh, whole song and dance. I make a whole song and dance about it. I talk about how yummy the food is, how expensive it was. And then I leave the room. And when I come back, they both bonded over their mutual desire to steal things eat and eat in it. That's kind of cute. Do you, have an act, uh, do you have to act annoyed every time? I... Used to, but it works either way. Neither of them are good at sharing. Right. What won't they fight over? Well, I've trained them not to touch any of my stuff. I drenched it in that bitter nail polish. Oh my God, it might be poisoned. It might be poisoned. Uh, the ones that stop you from biting. Ah, uh, that's, what's the word? Pavlovian conditioning. Neither of them are good at sharing. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, good to know. Hey, Scarlet. Oh, whoopsies. 
Okay. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> this is cool. I should be an actual doctor, guys. All right, never done that before? What do you mean by never done that before? He's never done that before, as in like, he's never asked you for help. Um, sometimes when I come back from the lab, they're clearly cold, uh, but they won't let on. I just run them a hot bath and they perk up most of the time. This is a common occurrence? Yeah, even before I came to Hoenn, it would naturally run cold. I've never known why that is. Dragons are weak to ice. Can, can you run? <laughs> That's so stupid. Why would you bring a dragon type to Antarctica? Well, Dr. Wilson, the other Pokemon on my team, Cast Form, Jump Bluff, Altaria, they do fine. Wait, that's not right. Altaria is a... Ugh, it's early. Okay. So maybe that's the problem. Okay, so they, so it's either poison or they got like some hypothermia. Okay. Um, Who's leaving this facility? What? Uh, I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> Did you hear something from Garcia? I thought you two didn't talk uh, because he's the kind of person who would claim something like that. Ah, uh, sorry I asked. Okay, I just want to know if I still had the job later, you know? Okay, um, your Zwellius will be fine. Don't worry, you're good. You know, we got that bedside manner. Altaria's four times a week to ice. All right, let's see what's wrong with the Zwellius. Begin! All right, here we go. Uh, oh my god. Okay, this should be simple. Oh my god. Is it like shivering? Oh! Uh, um, uh, pet the left head. Oh, but the right head started to get jealous. It looks more angry than it did before. Right head? Oh, it's still jealous. Okay, I shouldn't have. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, but I pet both of them. The pets are equally distributed. <laughs> there, are you happy? <laughs> you have to pet both of them equally. Um, okay, let me like look closely. Um, okay, skin and extremities seem to be fine. Pale. Frostbite can be safely ruled out. Okay, so it's definitely not frostbite. So it's not because they went in the cold. Um, okay. Um, check notebook. Uh, modern hypothermia, uh, moderate hypothermia. But as of yet, no frostbite. This didn't happen because of exposure. Okay, so it happened because of something else. Uh, you know what? Let's get a toxicology report on this. Right? Yeah. I seriously doubt they've been poisoned, though. Oh, maybe not. Okay, blood analysis machine. I don't have a blood sample. Oh, okay. So, blanket, first of all. Right? We need we need to give them a blanket. Uh, Yes, I should add this insulin. Well, yeah, yeah. To the hypothermia. Yeah. A blanket roll. Right? Blanket, for sure. Useful insulin Pokemon comforting them. <gasps> oh! I should have given the blanket to Pikachu! Because it's insulate. It's insulating. Um, okay. Uh, let's give it a heat pack as well, for sure. Make it a little, yeah, yeah, make it a little bit hotter. Like we need, we need to like do this. Yeah, yeah. Heat pack for sure. Um, raises, uh, relieves pain and stiffness and raises temperature. Whack to activate. Whack to <laughs> So dumb. Okay, not painkillers or anything. Um, probably just the, the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You know what they say? Just the two of us in an esophagus, right? That's what you know. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, take the draconic readout. Yeah, okay. We probably should use this because as well as is a dragon type. Uh, I don't think I should waste their energy on measuring an attack. Oh, I feel like this might invite them to just attack me instead. Oh, so it measures an attack from. Okay. Um, player meter, air current test. No. Blood analysis. Do we? Should we do an? I don't think we do an X-ray. What is this? Rubber gloves? No, we don't need rubber gloves. Hmm. What do you guys think here? Thermometer. Oh, oh yeah, we should do vitals. We should definitely do vitals. Does Butterfree Needle take blood? You know what? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Butterfree Needle for the blood sample. No, no, no. Okay, you guys are great. Thank thank you for being like 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 a good like uh, alternate doctor for me to help. All right. So the thermometer for sure. Okay. Let's test this out. 
Uh, probably low, right? 32 degrees Celsius. Definitely hypothermic. Yeah. Chat, what are you normally, like, what are like humans normally at? All right, set the scope. 37, okay. 60 BPM, that's low. Oh, okay. Um, Take the blood pressure cuff, yes. Uh, 110 BP, that's probably fine. Yeah, okay. And then what else? Um, all right, let's get let's get the butterfree needle. Oh, oh no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, it's probably gonna be mad. But we did get a blood sample. Okay. A sample of your patient's blood. What should I do? Um, we're not. We're gonna. We're gonna take the blood sample. Yeah. Um, toxin test trip kit. I seriously doubt they've been poisoned though. Okay. Um, but a blood analysis machine. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's, let's run some blood. Blood cell count is low. Oh? This might be something else. What's going on here? Strange. Yeah, they're anemic. Uh, the pokey preservation, um, elemental fundamentals, uh, tops and tails and bells and whistles. No, uh, untrainables, sick leave. I don't, um, let's do it. Uh, let's do fundamentals. Uh, let's see here. Oh, um, dragon type. Let's read about this. This is important. Okay. Dragon type, another catch-all type for Pokemon whose abilities are nearly impossible to categorize under any one logic. The theory is the power source that connects the dragon types together is the power of outside perception of strength. If you believe they are powerful, they are powerful. Hence their intimidating visage, the fact that most legendary Pokemon fall in this category. This is also unproven. Okay. Um, so I'd probably like do some like iron, yeah? Um top sales bells and whistles um we already know this we got the skitty and all that but uh, we didn't have anything about like as well as oh uh, this is pres uh no we should probably do the untrainables where was the um oh god where was the wh which one was it again it was it was sick leave it was sick leave um that we wanted to see right um i think there was that weird one wasn't it with like dragon types yeah, okay, so there's the flu. This doesn't seem like the flu, right? Because it doesn't have like a high fever. Um, oh, but in some Pokemon, like dragon types, it doesn't manifest as a fever. While humans raise our body temperatures, Pokemon often have supernatural means of doing so. Okay, yeah, I know. I don't want to rush into this, guys. I don't want another Pikachu. I very much don't want another Pikachu. Um, okay, Hyper Superbia does decreased attack power. Blunted supernatural abilities, depression. Okay. This uh, affects only Pokemon who stem from self uh, per perception, including all dragon types and psychic types. Uh, some normal type Pokemon, such as Igloo and Tokyo, can be affected as well, but this is no, uh, this is unexplained. The treatment is no different. Um, I don't think it is. I don't think it's depression. What do you guys think here? Uh, dual type Pokemon, fatigue, nausea, vomiting. There's no vomiting here. It's not, it's not an autotoxin. They're anemic. We know that. Is it also dark type chat? Is it, it's dragon dark type, right? That's what it is. Can you go into the bag and give them the blanket and hot pack? They look so sad while shivering. Uh, I don't know if I can. Let me see. Oh, um, bag. Give. Oh, no, 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 you give it, you give it to like, oh, I can give it to like my Pokemon that I have here. Take. Wait, what happens when I teleport? Can't use that here. Okay. Uh, Stina was taken. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the three, 36 months. It's my three year anniversary. You better tell me, uh, you better tell me you read that kindred story. I did not read the League of Legends lore that you sent me yet. <laughs> okay. I have not. I have not read League lore yet, but I will soon. Okay. I have been told. <laughs> and it was really good. I just haven't gotten to it yet. All right. Um, chat. Okay. Definitely some iron supplements for sure. Oh, I'm looking for more immediate treatment now. Okay. Um, painkillers, hydrogen peroxide, a saline solution. Hmm. I don't know, 
Oh, chat. Not guys. Should I wrap the Zwellas in bandages to warm it up? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, a hot drink, right? Hot vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, hot vanilla. That works too. Thank you, guys. I drank the whole cup in three seconds. That's only slightly terrifying. Uh, it seems better, right? Should I do? Okay. Check the notebook. Hyperthermia, no frostbite. Okay. Um, temperature's fine. The heart rate's low. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's check the blood sample. Uh, I don't have a blood sample. Oh. Oh, 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 remember. It was like, it was the blood cell count was low. Um, the temperature's still low, too. Shit. Um... Seriously, doubt they've been poisoned, though. Okay, should I get, like, an x-ray? Try to come back. It's big enough to... Okay. Maybe, maybe an x-ray. Sure. What could go wrong? We'll just give him an x-ray. All right? Hey, that isn't a Pokemon. That's a medical device. What? Okay. Maybe there's something that we don't see here. You know? Done. Anything different? Okay. Okay. Uh, here's the results. Wow. Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's so cool, actually. Oh, neat. Uh, oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I like how we just took the x-ray and we're like, wow, bones. <laughs> uh, I get to figure out what these even do. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> okay. I don't know what these do. Um, well, shoot. I'm not scrolling that far. Um, all right, that's the Zwellias, right? Nerves, blood, bone. Hmm. Should I get a hint chat, you guys think? I'll, I'll let you guys decide. Should I get a hint here? Check the dark light, please. Oh, right, 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 right. Elemental uh, uh, fundamentals, right, 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 okay. I want to treat, okay? Like, I want, I want to do this. I, it's just the fact that we, that, that the, the skitty ended up amputating its own tail and that the Pikachu fried some uh, Antarctic devices because of our, we didn't, was it, it wasn't our fault, okay? It was just like, you know, it's, it's fine. It's okay, guys. It just I have my my medical license um, is still in the mail. I, I haven't found it yet, but it, I, eventually it'll get there. Um, let's see. Oh, a dark type is applied as a classification of Pokemon that display a high level intelligence. Uh, intelligence which is used for psychological warfare, <laughs> emotional manipulation, or foul play. Interesting. Uh, some are capable of. Umbrokinesis, the manipulation of darkness itself. Some speculate that they may be connected to the psychic type, that they uh, may be connected to the psychic type. Wait. Some speculate that they may be connected to the psychic type, that they may be connected to the psychic type, a psychic type that decreases focus on itself um, and reassign it to the other for offensive purposes. Still have more criticized, still more have criticized, criticized the fact as a type at all, arguing that it's immoral to assign morality to a Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. All right. Should I take the, okay. I think, I think what we'll do is I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take a hint for the first time. I'm going to take a hint. Um, likely a bad idea. Thanks for the tier one subscription. Okay. Hypothermia is what happens when the body can't maintain its core temperatures anymore, and it drops too low. To cure it, you need both to stop the Pokemon from losing more heat and introduce more heat to its core. Right, that wasn't too helpful. <laughs> that wasn't. Okay. Um. Yeah, maybe more hot vanilla. I drank the whole cup in three seconds. That's only slightly terrifying. Okay. Let me let me like check. How are you doing right now? Like, what's what's what what is this? 
has more energy, but the temperature is still low. Um, I already did like the heat pack. I can't give it the heat pack right now, right? Yeah, because I give it to my my thing. That's not how that works. Check the temperature again. Oh, right, 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 right. We have to do that. Yes. Right. Oh, uh, I guess I don't. I guess I can't. Yeah. Check the thermometer. Is it in the bag? No. I don't think I can do it again. Heat pack? I already did the heat packs, chat. I already did that. We don't need painkillers or anything. I mean, we might be good. Like, we might be good to go. You feel me? Yeah. The hint was like, it's cold. Warm it up, you know? The cone of shame. No. Okay. I mean, we can just like, we're probably good, right? Pet more, probably. All right, let's do that. Let me let me try that. Pet the left head. It's still shivering. Looks more angry than it did before. Okay. But then I want to pet the right head. And now they're like all happy, right? And <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, what should I do? Look closely. Yeah. Try to use the items instead of give. I, I can't. Um, right? Like, it's just... So, bag, gauze rule. Yeah, yeah. So, this is just, like, what I will be giving them eventually, you know? I think we're good, right? I mean, let me sit in the... Yeah. I've already spent enough sitting around. Yeah. All right. I mean, like, chat, I think we're good, right? Like, we're probably fine. I need the gauze to like warm it up too. All right, screw it. I think I've done everything I can. Only one way to find out. Check your skill, energy, and comfort in the notebook. Oh, wait, iron supplements. Wait, it's anemic. Wait, I can't, I can't do that though. Yeah, I might prescribe something later. I'm, I'm doing immediate treatment, I think currently. So I think we're fine. All right, hey Scarlet. Uh, is there anything I should know about him? Uh, first of all, Eric let's... is as much a doctor as Doug. Doug is a divorce lawyer. I am a doctor. Would you not trust me? If you walked into the office and saw me, would you not? If if, if you were dying, okay. If you if you were were dead, like well not dead, okay. If you were dying, right. If you were like off off the like. Like, I don't know, you had like a, a leg that was like crushed because like a building fell on you and, and you only had me as an option, right? Would you not feel comforted? Nandre, thanks for the uh, 13 months. Hype one if Nandre VIP. Don, weren't we, weren't we supposed to like do a Pokemon battle over that? Um, yours, all right, that's fine. All right. Am I ready to begin the treatment? My current plan is wrap this wallet in gauze. Wrap this wallet in insulated blanket. Apply a heat pack to the core. Yes. That's what we're going to do. I'd okay. rather be operated on by a legless dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not... Hey, all right. Calm, calm, calm down a little. All right, it's, hey, that'd be fine. It's fine, guys. Don't worry. Uh, I would only trust you if chat was only consisting of certified doctors. Otherwise, I wouldn't trust you. You guys are doctors, right, guys? Put a one in chat if you're a doctor. All right, nice. I wouldn't let you treat my pet rock. Okay. All right. I, I would. I would treat your pet rock, and I would treat it right. Okay. I'll just tuck this close to your heart and there. Perfectly cozy. Scarlet! Uh, your Zwellis is going to be okay. Luckily, you caught it when it was only moderately hypothermic. Let's keep watch over them until their condition stabilizes. But you can stay too if you want. Uh, of course, I won't touch anything. As long as they're insulated, the only treatment is a heat source placed on his head, the armpits, etc. 
In other words, um, what? Oh, they're ripping the blanket up? What are you doing? That's warm. Warm is good. They're just like that. I honestly thought you two would be better than this. But that was the last heat pack I had. Now what am I supposed to stick under the blanket? Do you have to stick them under the blanket? Yes, it's because just otherwise I wouldn't do it. Honestly. <laughs> All right, so let's just take a second. Yes, I need to think. There's probably a spare one in the lounge fridge. Just like the other three they just eviscerated. Uh, right then. Since you're the Zwellis expert, huh? You talk to the Zwellis. Chansey, you, you monitor their temperature. I'll find something else they won't fight over. Something in the facility. Like what? That I don't know. Tell me if things go wrong. Okay, so we need to find something to like warm up the Zwellis because they ripped up the heat packs. <gasps> or Larvesta maybe. Right? Remember the Larvesta in our room? Or the, or the Firestone, maybe. Um, wait, wait, uh, the, 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 that Garcia was, um... Oh, hey. Clementine's Arcanine. They keep it as a warming dog, both for them and their Pokemon. Oh, should I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I should borrow them. Clementine, hmm? May I borrow him? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we actually used the Arcanine here. Okay, uh, that was, like, huge. Um, I can climb time and let this Arcanine to me for the morning. Good night. Wait, that could actually be good. Like a straight up like Firemon. Okay. Hello. Hey, Scarlet. In four, oh, they rip up the Arcanine. Okay, they're not gonna rip up the Arcanine, guys. All right, don't. It's gonna, the Arcanine is gonna be fine. All right, it's, it's gonna be totally, totally good. Okay. Uh, as well as okay. Okay. <laughs> God damn it! This is so cute. I love the animation here. Choose a heat source. Arcanine's ball. Arcanine, go! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, oh my, did they just? <laughs> oh, they were fighting. And ah, uh, was that blood? No, no fighting in the office. Oh, no, it was just the Pokeball. Okay. Okay, not not the Arcanine. That wasn't a good... That wasn't a good call. All right, that was... That was not... Uh-uh. Maybe like a Firestone. That might be a little bit better, right? Gotta clean this up. All right. Uh, Tykin, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Yeah, there's nothing out over here. They ripped up the Arcanine. F in chat, boys. Rip the Arcanine. <laughs> ah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, go lightly, Firestone. Should I use it to warm up as well as instead of the heat pack? Yes. Oh, I should have said look closely. Eh, it'll be fine. What's the kill streak now? Four. This, we don't have a kill streak. Okay, there's no kill streak. It would be three though. Um. Um. Yeah, you know, you know what doctors just do? They just kind of wing it, right? So it'll be okay. Imperials in this uh, citron crystal make it look like there's fire trapped inside, like amber. Uh, if there's anything you can use, you should take it. Uh, I'll admit freely that I don't know as much as you, but I'll trust you to make the right decision. So do I. <laughs> okay. We're fine. It'll all be good. Uh, okay, let's try this now with the firestone. Okay, let's see. Choose a heat source. The Firestone. There, take this. Uh, oh, they just threw... Uh oh. <laughs> they threw the Firestone out the window. Just... Use the cone of shame. Let go! You should be getting tired. You're hypothermic, remember? I'm trying to help you, so what is the point of you... I losing your medical <laughs> license speed run any percent glitchless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did they just get angry at me? What's going on? I got them to stop. I don't know how exactly. 
Some correct their insubordinate position. In other words, they've recognized that you're more powerful than them. I'm not sure though. It's very rare for them to do that. Oh, like the old, remember the diagnosis that we had earlier? And we were like, no, it's definitely hypothetical. We got to do it. Oh, it's like the draconic thing of like, you need to be more powerful than to like a certain dominant, right? That's what it is. They got to be like put in their place. I'm not sure though. It's very rare for them to do that. I don't see why they would or should. I'm uh, going to stay here with them. Uh, of course, McLeod. The kill count recognized. Don't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Hmm? I suppose I shouldn't leave her alone in there for too long. What's wrong? No, the nurse doesn't want to fight you. She likes all Pokemon equally, even dark types. That's her job. Oh, well, I think we have two different definitions of what my job is. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Okay, what do we, how, do, how do we do? Skill. <laughs> Why did I get a minus seven on skill? What? I'm a good doctor, I swear. Dude. <laughs> Shoot. Skill issue. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. Two days before ice break. One day later. All righty. Does this count as a double kill since they have a separate consciousness? They're still alive! Ah, <laughs> oh, mon chéri! I was just about to venture outside. Oh, that's very nice. So I won't see you at dinner. Uh, okay. I'll be in the Pokemon Center if you need me. It's weird. How's sure. the murdering Pokemon in a Poke Center game going? It's not. We're not murdering. <sighs> They're doing fine, guys. Okay? Like, we're not... Everything's fine. I'm just checking all of the uh, places here. Oh, we got a pet Delcaddy. Right, right, right. Hi, Delcaddy. Delcaddy. There you are. Pet them. Do it. Delcaddy now appreciates you even more than it already did. It's a little shy around me, it seems. But you know what? That's totally okay. Poker, you're a really good nurse. Thank you. Uh, okay, no one's down here. Oh, there's the hard drive. Did it, did it work? Is that the amputated uh, Delcati? Yes. Yeah, that it is. Okay. One moment. Oh, uh, I didn't know I could go outside. Oh, what? Whoa. I didn't know I could go outside. Oh, whoa. And Taxis Research Facility. I can barely read it, but I remember what it says. Whoa, dude. This is the research facility we're in. This is so cool. That was always allowed. <laughs> always allowed to lead. That's okay. Uh, is there another place over here? Oh, there is. It's uh, like the shipping... Um, Oh, it's probably where the icebreaker. It's like the port where the like the dock is and everything. You can okay. go grab that firestone now. Smile. <laughs> and Dax's port. Okay. God damn it! Because <laughs> I threw it out the window. Uh, whoa! This is really cool. Oh, look, we're playing malpractice. In the snow. More like Malimar practice. <laughs> and Malimar is just doing all right, you know. Okay. All right, let me go up and around. Okay. I guess we'll just like explore a little bit of this place. What's this over here? A uh, Krona Pass. Whoa. Oh, I can't go up there. 
Because it's too snowy. Oh. If you're gonna do a replay of this game again, I guarantee you'll get extra stuff that's worth it for sure. Also, you forgot to give the skitty that oi at the beginning, so now you guys are not as close. <laughs> guys, no, it's fine. Don't worry. Everything's okay. All right, what if we go to the south here? No. This is pretty cool, though. Okay. Uh, I think we've uh, explored a lot of this place, so. This, this is really fun. This is really fun. Lost my universe. Thanks for the uh, two years. Welcome back. Uh, thank you so much. I don't know if I'll do a replay, but it's kind of fun. <gasps> There's Larvesta. Don't set fire to the cushions now. Oh, I love Larvesta so much. Can't even remember what's in here. Blissy Award. Right, we got the Blissy Award. Um. All right, what over here? Still see about more. Uh, get ready, pops. All oh, right, right. Malpractice 101 with Eric. Um, don't worry, guys. Everything's gonna be fine. We have two days until the icebreaker until we lose our jobs. Yo. Chansey? Oh, what's up, Chansey? Uh, would you mind standing at the counter for me? I have a feeling no one's coming. I just do. Interesting. I might turn on the radio, sleep a while. Turn around now, because you're not welcome anymore. <laughs> In other news. <laughs> I'm right, the walkie-talkie sees this wavelength. Oh no, that was like an advertisement for the machines. Someone always has to keep in contact with someone venturing outside. Uh, they're they're beautiful. Uh, Hanani, the colony size must have grown by at least 100 Empoleons since last winter, and I've never seen so many Piplups alive. There's a possibility that the colonies merged like I theorized. This kind of evolution is what I spent years studying. Can you see him? The Alpha you've been tracking? I can't. Hold on, he's he's coming up to me. Aw. Oh? What's he doing? No! Dr. Garcia, Sean, what is happening? Oh, their expedition went wrong. Did he just... Hold on. Uh, I'm coming. What, what, what happened? Huh? Oh, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta figure out what happened. Oh, no. One moment. All right. Uh, Clementine? Oh, there's the Empoleon. Do you need a nurse? Huh? What happened with the Empoleon? What's going on? I'm a good human. I, I can help you. Are you leading me somewhere? Yeah, plus one question mark. Um, Brett Teleport, thanks for the prime. Lost my universe, thanks for two, two uh, years. Thank you. Welcome back. Where is this? The ship port? Something must have hurt you here. Some kind of rusty equipment, heavy machinery, a Pokemon fight even. Still though. Sounds like this employee is challenging Eric's <laughs> kill count. What the hell? What are you? Uh. Hey, what? Hey, what's going on here? I don't... I don't mean anything! Ida! On Shree. Ida, wake up! What was that? What do you think it is? It's not what it seems. You tackled me and an Empoleon. I think I understand what's going on here. It wasn't a real Empoleon. Take my Pokemon, my Molotic, my Toxel, my Gudra. Tell Dr. Clementine they're safe and well. Oh, so he was dressed as a Empoleon? Wait, I'm a little confused, chat. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little confused. The person, you know. Or 
Okay. We'll figure it out. Maybe he was dressed as an Empoleon? I heard ditto on the radio. Okay. Dr. Clementine left. He's out looking for you. Get back inside. And until I say so, make sure absolutely nothing gets in or out. I need to stay outside and reason with the thing. Oh my god, it's a thing reference. Oh my god, wait, I get it. I get it. It's a reference from The Thing. You know, the horror movie in the Antarctic? <laughs> that wasn't an Empoleon. We don't recognize that Empoleon. Dr. Clementine's missing. And don't let anything, anything inside of the medical facility at all. What thing? My ditto wants my attention. Very, very badly. <laughs> okay okay we gotta leave dude we gotta leave dude what the did you see them garcia i mean it's minus 20 out there i to move are they hurt i'm as worried as the doctors as you are but everyone why don't we talk one at a time well this should be interesting shush all of you all i know is that garcia said his ditto's gone rogue Oh, his pet flubber? A shapeshifter, more like. You've seen the movies? If it has a good reference, it'll become a perfect copy of the Pokemon, right down to the strength moves, only stopping at its mind. I have no idea how much of Garcia's explanation was confused exaggeration. I have no idea why it took the form of a beat up Empoleon, but I plan to catch this thing before tonight gets more confusing than it already is. Well, where is it? This is the only entrance or exit. If the emergency doors open, the alarms go off. Nothing bigger than an insect is getting in or out. Uh, what, what's, what's, what's that? <laughs> On that note, does anyone have a cup <laughs> and a sheet of paper? <laughs> Oh no. Oh! It's there! It's a scatter! You can grab it! <laughs> okay, alright, we gotta get this thing. Oh, oh, is it is it the Espeon? It could be the Espeon. Wait, cause I already have an Espeon in my party. Espeon, how are you in here? Espeon use teleport. I said no one! Espeon use hypnosis! What? Was that Gar Garcia? Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea where it went. I, I think I saw it heading to the lounge. Oh no. Look at them. That's a Pokemon that saw something they weren't meant to see. They all look like they want out, but so would a ditto. <laughs> Dude, we're like in a horror film right now. I knew it was gonna get horror game like. Right? You know? Who knew, dude? Like this this is literally like uh, the worst possible case scenario. Empoleon takes revenge for the malpractice on the Pokemon. <laughs> Pikachu, I see you've gotten better. Oh my God, we're literally like trying to, <gasps> wait, this is so cool. We have to go through our past diagnoses, right? To find out, dare I say, and this <laughs> the imposter <laughs> among us has ruined the internet in so far my life. <laughs> All right, inspect. It's much healthier. It's much healthier looking than it was before, but still looks cheerful, too cheerful. Touch its cheeks. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. It's not fluffy though. Maybe it got better. Leave it. I'll leave it. I went with the swallows. We meet again. Inspect. It looks suitably angry at most things. Okay. 
Uh, it, give it something. What would I give it to make it snap? I don't know. Uh, Delicati. All right, inspect. The tail is definitely gone, and it's still got the correct number of ears, baubles, etc. I should, like, maybe, like, touch the tail nub? Huh. Seem oddly fine with that. I wouldn't think too hard about it, Ida. This might be a case of what the Pokemon aren't doing. Hmm. I mean, Zwallows isn't shivering. What would I give it to make it snap? Do you think it's the Delcaddy? Oh, a fridge. Protein, Castelia cone, berry juice, rare candy, icicle plate, old gateau, the heat pack. Yes! I can give it a heat pack. Aha! Okay. Here's the heat pack. Huh. It wasn't fighting over it. Oh, that's a little suspicious. I don't know about that. Well, first of all, I don't know. I don't know about any of these either. Seems a little suspicious. That's a little sus, not gonna lie. My doctor senses are tingling. <laughs> Dr. Will, I found him. Oh, call me Cass. Uh, this is the Zwellis. I have no clue where the original is, but I'm sure it's a fake. Give me a net. Uh, or no, a throw print, a blanket. Uh, Ida? Oh, shit. God damn it. <laughs> It we don't trust your doctor senses, though. <laughs> it was the Del Caddy. <laughs> Turn around. What? Oh, uh, no, that one's too small. It's a Togetic. Damn it. Ah! My doctor senses. <laughs> I see. All right. It's, run it's running back outside. Oh, no. Did I fail? I see you've lost track of it. Yes, I... Let's not go that way right now. Surely you saw a Togetic run past you. Shame to admit that I was bested by my own ditto. Before my very eyes, I saw it turn into a, a Lugia. Oh my God, grainy and sharp edged like the photo he and I saw years ago. I barely escaped Ida. Svilus was not the imposter or something, <laughs> Ike. I'm not witty. <laughs> I doubt I'll try the same in here. It collapsed the entire building. Wait, so it turned into a Napoleon, a Lugia, and then turned into a Joltik. How fast is this thing exactly? Extremely. Hey, didn't anyone tell Clementine you were back safe? I'm getting my coat. Clementine's Arcanines are going nuts too. How did Dr. Garcia know about the Joltik? Also, Dr. Garcia didn't tell anybody they were back safe. No, Caddy! There you are. Pet them? Yes. Now, Preach used you even more than I already did. Okay. Still a little shy around me, though. Mm hmm. Interesting. Oh my. What? McLeod? You're. Scarlet! Why are you on the floor? Oh, what? What happened to you? I was looking at this book and something hypnotized me. Oh, no. I'm getting out of here. What? What the? The logbooks had a page ripped out of it. On the one side of the ripped page is a blank page. The other is 
Thoughts on Clementine's expedition to the Vitreous Glacier last week. Meaning the most recent entry has been ripped out. This is the thing. This is literally the thing. Who would that be? Oh my god. Oh my god. Gotta figure this out, guys. Lead beater. Uh, thanks for the eight months. Okay. Uh... I'm trying to look where are the Arcanines. There they are. You! You're not very slick. Clementine's Arcanine would never destroy their own equipment. Dr. Aristokov, yes, you! Get in here, then guard the door! Aye, aye, Ida! And you'll never make sure to not let anything out until I say so. Of course, of course. Destroyed. Uh, they destroyed the radio. Tape it up inside his. Uh, the, tape, the tape inside aye, his torn up and destroyed. But there's something else I can play. Play it? Play the, the broken radio? Uh, oh, oh, oh. The Dr. Garcia tapes. We, I, I call him Tuscany. The biggest wall rain I've ever seen in the Southern Ocean. Molotic, Molotic, calm down there. See, when they make their mating calls, my Molotic gets jealous. No, Jean, recall the Pokemon. Do you know what happened if you hurt the wild Pokemon there? This whole continent is legally wildlife reserve. reserve. Your research. Au revoir! Your job! Uh, whatever. You realize I can't, I can't stop them fighting just by snapping my fingers. Uh. Oh, oh, there's so many Arcanine. I concede. That's slick. Oh, how did we figure this out? How am I supposed to tell which one's fake? Surely there's something different about a Ditto's biology compared to a regular one. At the very least, I can visit my office knowing Aristokov's not going to let the dogs out. He'd probably win against an Arcanine. Okay, so we got to figure out. We got to figure out what's different about an Arcanine's biology versus a Ditto's. Plot twist, Aida is the shapeshifter. Uh, exactly. That's what, well, maybe we're the shapeshifter. You're right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, how could I figure this out? It would Whatever be temperature, right? in the Arctic stays in the Arctic. Literally. Um... Do we have a blood sample? No, I w if we can get them in here, we can't do an x-ray, because, like, bones, you know? Um... Volt oh, the fight. Wait, no, but they can, like, replicate everything down to... They can replicate everything down to everything else except for the mind. They can't replicate the mind. Wait. Why is there a second Chansey? Huh? Uh, I have ideas to for a while. Should I sit here and think? No, 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 no. I don't need a hand. Okay. See anything suspicious in here, Chansey? If that really is you. <laughs> Sorry, just been a weird day. Interesting. Okay. Um... What if we do if like we a are it explains why we are so bad at our job. True. Maybe a psionic compare? That could be it. This one's made for psychic types. You know? So like we can like measure the mind. Cause because like it can't think of, right? It can't think of it. Flame the flame thingy? No, 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 no. But Ditto can replicate everything down to the flames and everything, right? But not the but like you know? Everything down to flames, but it doesn't replicate the mind. Okay. Dark Garcia's Arcanine, or is it? Use a medical instrument. Yes. I don't have anything. Oh, okay. Uh, ask it to move. Move over. You're in the way. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so you don't get trapped. Okay. I'm literally trapped now. <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't think it is. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? There's only one ditto. I thought, yeah. A th thermometer? Hmm. It's just like, it's not the mind, you know? Like, one of the medical devices to measure this. A stethoscope, a thermometer, a blood pressure cuff... Spider-free needle. Oh, an ultrasound scanner. It's new. Okay. 
Can you give a detailed look at Pokemon's internal body structure? Yes! That's what we needed. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's it. That's, that's what we wanted. That could be it. Ultrasound for the brain. Because they can't replicate the brain. Yes. Uh, Kleinine, uh, thanks for the 15 months. Thank you. Start your crust here as Arcanine. Okay. Use the medical instrument. Ultrasound scanner. Okay. That seems like an Arcanine. Okay. What about this one? Okay. Oh, but that's not... That's not an Arcanine! I didn't see many bones. Oh, that's the ditto. All signs point to being you. Your whole body's ditto. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Watch the bag. Aristocrat, get the door. What? 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 Who is the egg? Oh my god, it became a human. Aristocrat? Why the heck did he leave? I would have remembered telling him to. Oh my god, I think it turned human. Footprints? Human footprints. From the kennel to the door. Aristocrat couldn't have made those or me. I don't believe it. The ditto might have turned human. <laughs> After 20 years of being here, I have the authority to call at least one emergency meeting. To the lounge. <laughs> I know you're all wondering why I need to get you all in one place. Apart from Clementine, the Ditto has destroyed the only way of contacting him. But seeing as it's been my responsibility to chase around the rogue Ditto, I believe it's also my responsibility to find it one last time. Hey, just tell them the Ditto's a human now. I can't do that. I saw it with my very own eyes. Gentlemen. Yes, yes. I'm just making sure you know the gravity of the such anyways. Thank you. First off, we're going to narrow down who is the ditto. The culprit destroyed my equipment, so I'll have to rely on eyewitnesses. Be thankful I don't have to give any of you an ultrasound scan. Okay. We need to be completely certain because then we force them back into their Pokeball. Naturally, I would have had mine on my belt. But don't they only do that if they faint? I think that's what she's referring to, Marley. Yeah, we have to, you know, the ditto. I know I am a nurse joy, but as a last resort, I'll make my chance to use last resort on the imposter. Um, actual kill count? Don't worry, guys. My doctor senses are tingling again. If you don't mind, I'm going to get her in my office. Uh, don't worry. If anyone tries anything funny, I'll call the mainland. That includes you. Uh, okay. I'm going to get the Chansey in my office. Uh. Uh. Okay, Point Crow. Now you're supposed to kill. So we can trust you to get this wrong and faint the wrong person, right? Oh, I knew this. I knew the Chansey was suspicious, dude. Yeah, we're going to put the harm in Pharmacist. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Hello there, Chansey. Uh, are you prepared to do some battling today? This is going to be hard to explain afterwards. I don't know if that's the right Chansey. Chansey, did you ever see Dr. Garcia? You did. I think something's up with that man. Between you and me, I'm going to last resort him as soon as I walked back into the room. Nothing about his behavior adds up. The teleporting, the hypnotism, the movement, everything. And the sooner we get this done, the better. The real one could be stuck outside freezing to death if we don't. Quick, someone's coming. Oh? Wait, you have the ditto? Wait. Huh? Garcia, you son of a biberol. Oh my... What? You had the... What's going on here, dude? I have... I have a hunch. What? It turned into me? No, it turned into me! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Garcia's a double agent, dude! Uh, calm down, everyone. One of them is definitely the ditto. We've cut one, uh, we've cut a one in seven chance down to a one in two. 
We're like a one and one. That's clearly her. What do you mean? Which one? Ah, oh, I'm already confused. Now let's call her Ida too, because clearly the uh because I'm clearly the original. She came in after me. Everyone quiet! Look, it doesn't matter which one came in first. Chansey, if it's not her, attack me. But that's my Larvesta! Oh no! That's my Chansey. Fine. I'll give you a name. Invada. What was your hunch again? Well, my hunch is that the imposter is clearly Garcia. The real one's stuck outside, and he's going to freeze to death. What's yours? But the door's been blocked. No! There's no way I can answer that without making myself look bad, can I? But if you break the door down, you won't find him. Because the real one is standing right here. And he's been in here the entire time. He's not going to say anything, is he? So both of you are making very bold claims. I believe we'll be able to determine the fake by who has the most cracks in their story. All in favor of three strikes, say aye. Okay, so the invader is like, Dr. Garcia is out there somewhere and is the imposter. But we are saying, no, Dr. Garcia is right there. They have the ditto. Interesting. Huh? What's up, Sock? I've never gotten the opportunity to argue with myself. Okay. Do you think you'll like it? Do, do we have like a health bar in the upper right? Like, <laughs> at the risk of sounding self-absorbed. Oh, yes, yes, I will. Your first point. What if you believes the real Garcia isn't here? What if you believes the real, do we? <laughs> that's my, it's Dag and Rafa. Oh, that's hilarious. What if you believes the real one is here? First off, we need to establish that Ditto is near omnipotent when it knows what it's doing. Face it, none of you know what that Ditto could cause so much trouble for now. But simply, there's no way that Garcia is real. His Ditto knows him better than any other trainer in this facility. Manya, do you, Ida? How could you betray me like that? No, he isn't. I can prove it or then make him faint. Um. I don't know. The ditto, yeah, the ditto shouldn't have our memories, right? I'm so lost. Um, Garcia's real, he has a ditto, and he's been um, fucking around with everybody. And we're trying to prove that we are we. Then make him faint, do it. What, no, the argument hasn't been concluded. I know me, if I were so completely sure who the imposter was, I'd do it without a second thought. I can't make hasty decisions like it, so you aren't sure. Or do you know in your heart of hearts he's not actually the imposter? But still, a Pokemon never attacks their trainer. So we know that Dr. Garcia isn't likely the ditto. The one that we saw enter might not have been real, but the one sitting here is. One of you two is the fake. But only one of you proposes that the real one got in without uh, any of us knowing, huh? As I said myself, there's only one entrance and one exit to this facility, the front door. How was another person supposed to get in without a fire type? After this, Garcia came in. The door was blocked by a snowdrift. Oh my God, wait, he told us our Pokemon. How did he get in? There wasn't a snowdrift, was there? Right? I think he teleported, right? Because he teleported with the with the Espeon. Right. I followed his Espeon into his door. Where I saw it teleport Garcia through the walls of the building. Oh my god. He said something about how it had to take him to the locker room. If this becomes a video and one of the editors is like watching this, um he, like for this, you gotta you gotta do it like full like 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 grainy black and white style of like of like look, we found it, right? And then like when I'm saying that, then it's like they found, like, this is like the flashback, you know? It's like a flashback. Hey! And that's a dab. Okay. Um, okay. He said something about how it had to take him to the locker room. Hold on, hold on. Do you have any evidence for this other than your hearsay? I could say the same thing about you, huh? Can we please take this seriously? Someone must have else seen me changing the Espeon, but who? Oh, it was, um, it was Dr. McCloud, right? It was Dr. McCloud in the locker room with the candlestick. No, um, in, in the locker room, right? Who got hypnosis because of the notebook. You just remember that. Uh, what? No, I, I was in the nurse's office. Oh. 
Oh, it wasn't McLeod. It was it was a different. I forgot their name. It was. Oopsies. Shit. So one of you makes the claim that Garcia got inside and had a full intention of going to the locker room. The other one's denying that this was uh, some kind of conspiracy. All right, let's say Garcia did somehow get it. You can't say with confidence he wanted to get to the locker room. Why don't you follow him? Um, I was hypnotized. No! At this point, she's jumping to Sharpedo. Uh, it was in his dorm by his espion with hypnosis. At that point, he went to the locker room unimpeded and tore Paige out of the logbook. Order, order! Okay, so you can see in the top left corner, right? There's that like grayed out area with the ditto. That means I'm winning. This is like one strike against the ditto, right? And then the grayed out area on the right, that's one grayed out thing for me. Friday's here. Thanks for the prime for four months. Hi, Prusen. Thanks for the 14 months. Low plays. Thanks for the 19. Thank you. Order, order. Quiet you. Okay. Right. It was the first thing destroyed tonight. The other, a tape with Garcia's most recent mission log. I know for a fact that someone else in this room can confirm all of this. I, uh, um, Dr. Aristokov, because he heard the tape. Nope, can't say again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nope, can't say again. Trivia, anything. God, you're useless. Uh, she's implying that Garcia did all this intentionally to get rid of something. Having two of them here at the same time is a distraction. These are two some serious uh, accusations. We don't even know what they're going to get yet. She, she said something about the locker room. That's where I got knocked out by some Pokemon. I don't know about you, but I've got to hear the rest. Okay. Ooh, what tapes? Why are we talking about tapes? That's that's where Arcanine was destroying in Clementine's room. Correct. Uh, that's your point? Fine. Let's say Garcia did get inside and he did get to the locker room and he did get rid of his mission log. What is the point? Why is Garcia talking with uh uh why is Garcia talking with the one with Larvesta? It's going to be difficult. Tapes were mission logs, recordings of the back and forth between Dr. Clementine and Garcia, but one of them was venturing out. The logbook is how we keep track of who left and re-entered the facility so we don't lose anyone. The thing is, all of these can tell you that the thing all of these can tell you is um um uh, uh, which one chat <laughs> right like the log book you know oh when garcia would be back all of his evidence right it's all of his evidence that would be here your point this isn't school we don't get penalized for lateness Fuck! i know they won't like me make me any more mistakes um okay we got one last one what his aim was. Everything that could have been confirmed that he was going out there to observe the local Empoleon colonies. But why? In that case, maybe you wanted to hide the fact his Ditto got away. Yes, the whole situation is embarrassing uh, enough. Right, so we can agree that he had something to hide. I saw the ripped book. And I heard the tapes. We keep arguing like this. Well, he'll have a good reason to hide it. Stop it. Stop it now. No. I believe what he was trying to cover up was... An attack on wild Pokemon because because of the wall rain and the uh, melotic. Remember, we're, we're, because we heard the tapes, and that's illegal. Aristokov and I both listened to the tapes, and they told me that Garcia apparently has a habit of not stopping his team from attacking the Pokemon he's studying. I propose that in this case, it might have gone too far, and he's covering up cre creatively. What he's doing? Wild, protected Pokemon were actually hurt. At best, he could lose his research grant. Right, because we also read it in the logbook. Uh, sorry, we also read it in the research material that we had earlier. And that's why you read the lore. If things went bad, he would lose his job. And if the uncontrollable Pokemon defense didn't stand up at court, he could go to prison. No, I never thought he could do that. This wasn't just one time. Some people... And there's one more piece of evidence that proves what just happened. It's because it disguised itself as a... Empoleon. Right? Because of the Empoleon! Because the Empoleon was hurt! No! I saw with my own eyes. It's a crown of its crown of horns was bent so far to the side that the metal edge cut into its forehead. I even guessed at the time it'd come out of Pokemon fight, but I had no idea that it was a ditto just imitating what it saw. 
in the ditto imitates everything. It's because we know that the ditto would imitate like a Lugia that it saw in a picture. So if the, uh, if the ditto saw the Empoleon that was hurt, that is literal proof that Dr. Garcia was, uh, was, was forcefully attacking wild Pokemon, protected Pokemon. It led me to the water just, behind, uh, just beside the ship port. It, it raised its wings up, backed me up against the edge of the ice, and I think it would have pushed me in. They're trying to get rid of us. But, but what if this is a coincidence? I think we're forgetting one person. That'd be Dr. Clementine. They would have heard what happened on Garcia's expedition. If we were all running around trying to catch Ditto, he'd probably let the issue go, but we aren't. No! The whole argument is that we need to... Uh, your whole argument is that we need to go outside and rescue the scientists Dark trapped out there. Detective Point Crow strikes again. Exactly, you know it. Yeah, so we need... So basically, our whole proof right now, like this is... Ex we, we know our story. But Dr. Clementine is out there right now, dying in the cold. And we need to go save Dr. Clementine, who can cooperate a story. If I were you, which I am, I'd be yelling at everyone to get out there and let them in. Agreed. Someone go fetch them. We'll tell the whole story. <clears throat> get out there and let them in. Sacre bleu. Interesting. I'm... I'm sorry for scaring you so bad. You know, when I was in Empoleon, oh, we're talking with the Ditto right now? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Uh, Cas Clyde, thanks for the Prime. Um, you know when I was in Empoleon? Oh, I'm fine. I know you're probably feeling all sorts of things towards Garcia right now, but he wouldn't have let someone die. I don't know about that. I liked being you. Hmm, I can tell. Being a Nurse Joy... No, I don't, I don't think you'd enjoy it. As much as I'd like it to be, it's not like being a detective or the very best. I'm, I'm the only nurse story left on the planet for whom it's still like that. But that's not what I said, though. I said I liked being you. Oh, you got you there, didn't I? Huh? Because, hey, I mean, it's not about your... Because, hey, you know, at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, you're not, you're not determined by the worth of your job, you know? It's not your job that determines who you are and what you do, okay? It's not, that doesn't define you. It's you that defines you. And that's kind of cool. All right, here we go. Ah, they, <laughs> they got Dr. Garcia. Oh, Ida, there you are. Er, thank you for bringing this to our attention. So Dr. Clementine uh, corroborated our story. If you're wondering about this, Garcia tried to make a break for the door. Mads, thanks for the 25 months. Thank you. That's my streamer, Dr. Veterinarian. You know me, all of the above. I know I put you gentlemen through a lot, but when you find the time, Rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this fucking Yacha Berry. What's happening? Ugh. I might turn in for the night soon. You know what, guys? That was great. Larvesta, <laughs> don't set fire to the cushions now. That was awesome. <laughs> the not minus seven will always be in our hearts. I can't believe we did that right, dude. That was that was such a cool arc. I, I'm like, it like, I was also like kind of as confused as you guys too, you know? I was like, all right, I don't really remember what they're talking about. I don't really understand it. And then I, like, it just like hit. I was like, holy shit, I get it. Isn't there still a day? Yeah, oh, it's not over yet. Oh, it's not over, guys. We still have more. Tell Caddy. There you are, pet them. Yeah. That scoreboard made it very obvious this one didn't involve anything medical. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey. All right. I know I got a, a 
perfect extra mile on something that wasn't but like trust me the next one that is medical i'll do well on going to go cry now <laughs> oh oh dr garcia you yes me what is it you want i could ask you the same question is going nowhere agreed when he is better as a detective than a doctor <laughs> i try my best what can i say <laughs> it's not the profession i chose but it's the one i was given <laughs> okay um all right i guess we uh, we, we uh, uh i i, I want to check all the rooms just in case you know it's pretty bad at both though. <laughs> this is kind of a cool story. It's a cool mod too. I, I I really like it. What do you guys think so far? It's pretty well done, right? All right, let's go to sleep. Should I turn in for the night? Yes. One day before ice break, before the revive gets here and we're out of a job as Nurse Joy. Oh, what the hell's happening? Is this our dream? Uh huh? Are, what, what's going on here? is what, what is that oh we became a, a star do you see it that star you know them <laughs> this is what what's going on it's my mother your friend their will. Oh, it just went out? Oh, the stars are disappearing? Do you see it now? Wait, yeah, wasn't that a um, Gothitelle cry? Is this a vision? Are we seeing the future right now? Do you see it now? Ida? Yeah! What in the name of Arceus was that? I, I should go make breakfast. Oh my god. So I heard this voice, but not someone's actual voice. It's like someone else was like talking to me by hijacking my internal monologue. I couldn't move my head. I was staring at one star and it died. And then all of them did. I see what's happening here. Stars, infinity, brain hijacking. That wasn't a dream, Ida. That would have been like something like a Gotha television or any kind of psychic type vision, really. Nothing to be scared of. Huh? Hey, Cass, I've had that dream too. Same weird message, same stars, same everything. I thought it was time for me to take a break from the galaxy simulator. <laughs> Is this just a thing that everyone's dreaming about now? Oh, the Dr. Taiji also about to say might have been an accident on Gotha Tell's part, but clearly that's not the case. Huh? Why, did you have a dream about it too? No, I haven't. Not for about a week at this point. And that's bad? No, it's not bad if she wants to communicate to something that is someone that isn't me. It seems anyone that isn't me. What? You think someone should talk to her? Of course. It's probably something important. I presume you're volunteering. Okay. Yes, doctor. Oh, please call me Cassandra. Uh, I'll tell Gotha Tell to meet you in your office and I'll be out of the ocean today. I know she's a little sick of the sea, so it'll work for both of us. How's that sound? Interesting. Besides, you've always liked psychic types, haven't you? Um, of course. Not to say I have bias, but I do. Interesting. Okay, so we need to figure out why everyone's having these visions, you know? Why everyone's having these visions. Why? Why the hell? <laughs> Dude. Dude, what's going on? We got like a, a, a totally new arc here, you know? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, is Gothitelle trying to tell us that Cassandra's about to die soon? Like, what's happening? 
All right, maybe something's wrong with Gothitelle as well. Oh, there, there's Gothitelle. What was that vision, dude? How the heck did you get here so fast? All right, uh, let me save real quick. Um, Bronzo, you can see our rankings. Oh, fucking hell. The Mad Nemo gave me thanks for the two months. All right, chat, I'm going to really quick go to the bathroom, okay? Um, give me one second and um um i will be back um so all right un momento Yo. Hello all. This is Dr. Chair. Thank you with assisting Nurse Crow on her rotation today. 
She's losing it and needs the help. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot I uh, um, had TTS paused, so you guys weren't able to play Dr. Kuz. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. Uh, got the tell. Uh, what should I do? You know what? Before I pet, sit and observe. Do you do anything? Oh, you have like a like a headache. What's going on here? Doctor Point Crow to the rescue. Um, talk to her. I could talk to it about what it needs. Not ready to respond to me. Okay. Talk. Um. Sorry. Um. Doug. Doug wants. Wait. Okay. Point Crow. Will you? Doug. Doug wants to know. Will you splurge it up with Doug in Vegas? He wants to splurge with me. But like, in Vegas. Is this like specific? I need. I need to have some further details. Okay. You know. I, it's like. Is this like after dinner? Or is it like just to, just to like, just going, you know, like it's just splurging or is it like, is it will happen in a hotel room? But like, yeah, but like, is he going to take me to dinner first? That's my question. Ask him that. Yeah, I just, you know, it's a valid question. Like, is it like after Dakota, thanks for the 29 months. Thank you. I just I just really need to make sure. We're splurging. Oh, oh, wait. Did this take this? <laughs> Doug said you'll pop perks and party. <laughs> yeah, that's yep. Yeah, that sounds like me. You know me. I mean, that's really it, you know? I'm just, I was just, yeah. Splurg, not splurge. Yeah, yeah, splurg. Okay. Is this a dating sim? <laughs> no. I'm wearing fucking scrubs. I'm I am a medical practitioner. This isn't Grey's Anatomy. It's not a dating sim in a hospital. Okay. Um, I could talk to it about uh my qualifications. I don't know if we've ever met before. Dr. Will tells me you can put on bandages and antiseptics all by yourself. I'm Nurse Joy. I studied at the Cathy or University of uh, Pokemon Care for six years. I specialize in Pokemon behavior. Oh, it opens its eyes. Ah, it opens its eyes. What should I do? Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Um, what I did yesterday. You would not believe what I did yesterday. You know Dr. Garcia? His ditto fought a wild Empoleon, so we came back to the facility to try and cover it up. The two Garcias running around at the same time trying to hide the evidence. When I tried to prove it, the ditto turned into a clone of me and started a debate. Ooh, it's impressed. Okay. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Okay. Uh, what Dr. Will thinks. You know, Dr. Will, uh, she's really worried about how you haven't been talking to her lately. That's why I'm here, so you can talk to me. Oh, no. I didn't make you feel bad. Uh, shit. <laughs> I fucked up. Um, what it needs. Not ready to respond to me. Okay, I, I should probably like talk and then like talk about my qualifications again. Pet head? Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. Give me a sec. We're, we're going to go through this. We'll make sure we, we're, we're, we're giving the utmost care. Okay. PPS stands for Pokemon Protective Services. In case you don't know, I'm going on a bit, aren't I? Uh, what should I do? Uh, still, I'm going to talk more about my qualifications. My thesis was actually on the social responsibility of a Nurse Joy in regards to suspected abuse cases. A lot of debates were held over when a Nurse Joy should call PPS if they suspect abuse. As in, how much trust should we put in trainers? Do we assume they're innocent until proven guilty or take no chances? PPS stands for Pokemon Protective Services, in case you didn't know. I'm going on a bit, aren't I? Interesting. I think she's depressed. Hi, Yaki. We have not yet uh, cured a Garchomp, um, but um, I'll look out for you. I'm going on a bit, all right? What should I do? All right. Let's see. Okay, sit and observe now, maybe. 
Okay, you have like a headache. Um, pet or head? Wow. Yeah. Oh, I. Oh, so chat. Do you guys remember when I was like, um, when we were talking about the Empoleons and it was like mating rituals or whatever in like that book, and I was like, yeah, you know, I, I understand like the the Gardevoir, the little penny, blah blah blah. But like, I've also heard like Garchomp before. That's Yaki. She's like into this weird like, I don't know. We're, we're like, she was talking about like on her stream like this weird like, like. She's into Garchomp Empreg or whatever. I, I don't know. It's, that's that's. All right, pet her head. Maybe. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Okay, I guess I can't. I'm sorry. What? Hey, you know it's it's not weird. What's wrong with Garchomp? See, uh, there you go. Literally admitted it. Eggs in this trying time. Thanks for the 19 months. Um, so. Uh, check notebook. All right, let's see what let's see what we know. Does not like physical comfort. Is uncooperative and unfamiliar with me. I'm getting slandered. That you are. Gaslighting live on stream. <laughs> uh, okay. Look, this is uh, this is my impression of Yaki when she sees a Garchomp. play funny pokemon game right now <laughs> um uh what should i ask her uh are you scared for pikachu oh, interesting okay i'll take that as a no okay what should i ask her uh is something coming Ooh, oh yes okay something something's coming guys <laughs> okay um <clears throat> all right something's coming that's that's scary um can i change the, i can like can i change the future that's a stupid question isn't it okay i'm changing what you'll do in the future by talking to you right now oh oh let's try again what okay 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 you're communicating with me okay oh what the what the hell all right scarlet you have a coin you're showing a vision I could give you a key. If I get heads, that means you'll have to switch in your benched Pokemon. And also, it falls asleep. Okay, so that means if it lands with the writing face up, Scarlet, you're as well as. Hey! Anyway. Huh? Heads or tails? What's this well as doing? Oh, it's. Why is it in the first aid kit? I don't know. It's gone under the table. But I think I can't see the text. So, tails. Um, just use a key card or something and slide it out of there. I'm trying to get it with my foot. Yeah! How did you even get up there? Uh, okay. Why was that important? Do we, do we go out and see what's, if that's real? Oh, they're playing the Pokemon TCG. Okay, gotcha. That's like across the way right here, isn't it? Or that was a future? Huh. Yeah, I wonder if I can like do something different here. Someone must have forgotten to give this back to me. I'll be taking this. So now I've changed the future. I've taken the med kit back. Okay. So I moved it. I've changed the future now? Okay. I think I've got it right this time. Watch. Oh, okay. 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 You're showing us another vision to like save the future. All right, Scarlet. Do you have a coin? I could give you a key. Red heads. That means you have to switch in your bench Pokemon. Okay. So, so let's see what happens now with the Zuelos. Heads or tails? I don't know. It's gone under the table. But I think I can't see the text. So, uh, tails. See a key card or something and slide it out of there. I'm trying to get it with my foot. We can help you promise not to eat the key. So I should I should go under the table and find the key now. Okay, interesting. Interesting. This is so cool, dude. This is so cool. This isn't Groundhog's Day, but this is pretty neat. Um Oh, maybe I get like I use the 
the broom? Chat, what do you guys think here? I don't know how to do this. I'm pressing A in every single thing here. Well, jacket behind the locker right here. No. Find a coin. Yeah, this is like a future. Key card. The key's not there yet. The coin's not there yet. Where would it be, chat? Or like a, yeah, like a magnet or something, maybe? Like, would it be? Um, you're gonna have to try a little harder if you want to scare me. Okay, I'm still, this is fucking crazy, dude. Mrs. Andrew, thanks for the four months. Oh my lordy. Ugh. Key card? Wait, would you see it? That's not a key card. That's a picture. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Where would a key card be? That's what I'm trying to think of next. Not the Larvesta or anything. Chat, what do you guys think? Find a coin, give it to her. It's fucking Garcia. Uh, awesome. Thanks for the four months. I don't know what it would be. Uh, clean this up. It's a mess. Awesome. Thanks for the four. Oh, there's a broom over here. Maybe this is the one. No. Clementine's locked. I'm not going to let the dogs out. Right. That's where the Arcanine's. Maybe you can throw your Larvesta up in the air and see how it lands. That's a great idea. Anyways, chat, put a one in chat if you guys uh, would trust me uh, with uh, surgery. If you if you saw me doing surgery on you, would you trust me? If you like woke up halfway through surgery and you saw that I was your doctor. It's like a one, right? For like everyone. You'd be like, oh shit, nice. No, because I woke up for surgery. Yeah, but like, think about it. Oh, wait. I wonder if these have anything to do with like the lights that we saw earlier. Huh. Interesting. Hard one. There you go. Thank you. Okay. He's the lose journal. No, I'm not. You want some? <laughs> it's an anesthetic. All right, let me let me go back to the uh got the tell so let's see about it okay i think i know what you want me to do now yes let's try again okay oh um oh we just we just saw like what we fixed right okay I like coming here where the nights get long. The red lights trick my silly little brain into thinking that the day is over. Yeah, it's funny how plants and humans are still the same in that way. We're uh, easily tricked. <laughs> still listening, just making sure the red lamps still work. Had a few burn out on me. I'll admit, when it comes to the greenhouse, I'm still faking it till I make it. Uh, you're doing good work, Elliot. On that note, I've noticed something, a sort of, a sort of belief that people can be split into, say, Let's say those who get seasonal depression and those who don't. I know some people think that by being here, having studied for years and have been genuinely talented, uh, they don't have any kind of vulnerability to things like that. Yeah, like if you're smart, uh, we, you wouldn't need plants to feel happy, right? Exactly. Uh, just got that last row to check and then... Oh, uh, top you up with some canopy grow. And that reminds me too, I need to clean the filtration. Ah, I'm going to get some supplies. All right, I'll sit here and uh, bask. All right. Good talk. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, depression solved. Like, just don't be? Like, what? Hmm. Probably it's missed this broken lamp. Yeah! Why'd I touch that? Okay. So, um, that was the problem, was the broken lamp. So, we just need to go fix that, I think.
right? Like over here. Future, this is broken. As I say, if it ain't broke yet, you cannot fix it. Um, okay. I don't know if we can fix that yet. Isle of Eden, thanks for the tier one subscription. Thank you so much for that. Um, all right. We'll just see what's next then. Um, oh, 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 we, we use the canopy grow. Right, right, right. We have that in, in here. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then, and then, uh, we do the plants. We, we, we water the plants, right? Or whatever. Um, before, yeah, we, we do the plants before the lamp breaks. So that we're still good. This is literally like butterfly effect. Exactly. Well, like 100%. This is a really cool mod. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. Okay. The future of this is broken. Uh, as I say, if it ain't broke yet, you cannot fix it. Okay, but like, what if I use my bag here? My canopy grow? No, that just gives it to the, the Espeon. All right, I'll just like get the canopy grow though. You know, I'll just like receive one. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try this, okay. I think I know what you want me to do now. Okay. All right. What else do you want me to do? Let's try again. Okay. What else? What other visions are you showing me here? Oh, okay. We're just, okay. We're seeing this again then. Okay. All right. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder what's going on. Maybe like, huh? Uh, we have to figure out why the goth, uh, goth tell is like so stressed. <laughs> you feel me? I think that animation is the coolest thing ever. It's really cool. I really enjoy this, you know. Should Poker be wearing a Nurse Joy costume while playing the game? No. <laughs> um, that's for a separate cosplayer. Um, I'm just I'm not even cosplaying. I'm a doctor, legally. Okay. Like I I am a, I'm a certified doctor. I would not trust this man with my life. Well, sometimes, you know, figure out, right? Like, let's think about this. Let's say like you get into like a really bad accident, right? Like, do you have control over what doctor you get? I don't think so, right? <laughs> so hear me out. I'm gonna be doing surgery on you, whether you like it or not. Are you saying you don't have another choice? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I like use it on here or something? Can it be grow? The filters? I don't know what to do here. Um, chat, what should I do here? That's a big wall of text. I, I, okay. Um, top right. Oh, this thing. This is where Dr. Aristocrat usually pots his Roserade. Should I add the canopy girl? Yes. Oh, okay. Now we won't have to worry about that. Okay, cool. We did it. Neato. Okay. So we just, we just, um, we put it there. So then, uh, he doesn't have to worry about like the, the burned lamps and everything. And then we don't have somebody get hurt. Nifty. Okay. Um, I know what happened. Watch. Okay. So we, we're like solving the past to make the future better right now. Right. I'm going to... Uh, oh, right, right. So this is this is what is going to happen now that we changed it. I just got to check this uh, row. Ah, good. I remember Roserade's fertilizer this time. And this one's broken. Anyhow. Any two. You were saying, Cass? Yes, I'll admit, I'm not above thinking like that myself. Between you, Melia, I need to go home. I need to be there for at least one midwinter, tell you at least one granddaughter about what I saw in the Southern Seas. Not permanently, but I've been uh, putting it off. Uh, and you know, for me, there's only so long I can... Hey, Cass, come on, don't talk down to yourself. Age is just number. 
but I didn't say I was talking down to myself, did I? Fair enough. Right, and because of that, we made them closer. That's pretty cool. All right, what do you need? Enjoy me, thanks for the prime. Privacy. But you stay. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh boy. Privacy, but I stay. Wait, step away, but you... This is a glitch. Very interesting side of the fridge. <laughs> Privacy. But you stay. Why did the make the Chansey leave? Yeah. Uh, would you mind leaving the room, Chansey? Uh, just for a little while. Okay, so it's just us now. Okay, what's what's next? Yeah, what do you need? I'm correct. You're testing me for something. For the record, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm whatever you need whatever you wanted to show me last night, I'm prepared to see it again, if that's what you want. Are you? Okay, here we go. What did you show me? Like, what is this? So you were testing me, showing... Oh my god. Wait, this is the... Reshiram, somebody's home back on the mainland? Wait, okay. They can't see us, can they? Oh, we're here. We're in the... Okay. We're like in the... In Unova. What is this? So, so... Uh, Goth, uh, Gothitelle tested us earlier for like having us change the future for like some dangerous events. And knew that we were up to this. And so showed us, is now showing us our vision again. Granddaughter. Son. We're in Unova right now. Nacrine sit. Oh, and this is Dr. Will. Do you see it now? Your Will. Your friend. That's her. That's her. That's her. That's her. Okay, God to tell. I know this is real. Cassandra. Oh, she's cold. Huh? Rest well, doctor. What was that? Got to tell your trainer has. No. No, you already know what happened to her, don't you? Oh, Dr. Will's going to die in the future. Dr. Will goes back home and dies. You already know what happened to her, don't you? That's why you brought me here and, and not her. The nurse. What was that? Oh, oh, supposed to do? Oh, God. God I got the, oh, my God. That's, that's a tradition. That's what it is. If a person dies, you cover them. That's it's for respect, even if she's... You want to give her respect too, don't you? I can only cover her face. You you made dreams for her. You astral projected to you Nova for her. You time traveled for her. And I'm sorry, what can I do? I'm sorry, what I can do looks offensive compared to... Are we disrespectful? No. So, why? Why didn't this work? Doctor... Cassandra's going to understand how hard you tried, okay? If you choose to tell her, that is. Of course, that's... That's what I can tell you. I'm just the nurse. You've been so good to her, from what I know. You deserve her. But, I'm sorry I got the tell. She's... She'll still age. So, yeah... Dr. Will, when, go, when, when Dr. Will goes home, will just die of old age. That's it. And there's, there's, no, there's no disease. There's nothing else. And got to tell Dr. Will's uh, prized Pokemon, um, well, is trying to change the future by going to anybody she can and ended up on us, the last nurse joy. Um, Maybe hopefully try to change it, but we can't change time. She'll still age and die. Oh, she's crying. Is that her son? She, there, see, you could uh, talk to him. Both of you would call her mother. That's That'll make things easier, right? It's okay. You don't have to use my words anymore. 
<laughs> fuck, dude. Dude, this is so sad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you tired? Hey, you've been working, you know, been working a lot. I'm tired too. Because, hey, you know, nurses are to, to treat illnesses, to treat uh, diseases, but also, you know, sometimes they treat the heart. Ida? Uh, I'm back! Do I have permission to tell her? I see. Okay. Let's go tell Cassandra that Gothitelle is just sad that, well, we'll die one day. Oh, Ida! Uh, there you are. Uh, how was your time with her? Well... I was right, as ever. As it turns out, Gothitelle has some anxieties about you. Do I tell her everything? Oh. Chat, do, uh, do we? Like, it's just like telling her that she's going to die. I think Gothitelle should probably tell her. It shouldn't be from us, you know? I don't think we tell her everything. Ah, uh, naturally. Uh, I don't think she likes how adventurous I can get on the ocean. She likes to pin me to the mast of my ship with her psychic powers in case I get washed overboard. I can say with certainty, doctor, you won't die at sea or near certainty rather. Oh no, don't tell me that. I'll get lazy. Anyhow, let's go see how she's doing. Maybe she'll be up for some board games to help unwind. Oh. All right, let's see how we did. I, I could have done that better, I guess. <laughs> I'll take, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. It's, it's just zero comfort. I forgot about that. Shit. Um. Anyways. All right, you know what? All right, better, you know, it worked out. It worked out. All right. Tomorrow's the, uh, when the icebreaker. Oh my God. Wait, zero days until icebreak. That's today. Yeah, my bedside manner is butt cheeks. <laughs> Finally. There it is. The revive, the machine take away our nursing job finally come on chancy let's go see the ship Oh, Chansey's ever uh, uh, running too, is it? One moment. Here we go. All right. Let's go see the ship and our fate. Here we go. Ida, uh, you're uh, finally awake. I was going to come, silly. Uh, I'm not that petty. And if you think about it, I'm technically part of a historical event. The last Nurse Joy to get a revive machine installed. The last to ever know, maybe not death, but mm, fixable injury. <laughs> uh, let's line up a little, shall we? She does have a point. You can get a book deal. You know, please, at least give me the mercy of a pseudonym, boy. Uh, she's not going to actually do it. I will if you keep that up. I'd rather say we're part of a historical event. Really? Oh, let me have this one. I'll start moving stuff indoors. Ida, come on. The box with the machine parts should be near the back of the ship. It's uh, it's the one with the pink sticker on it. Ah, uh, you see it right there on the in the bottom. Yeah. All right. Let's go get it. Take the machine parts. No. Wait. Mm. Your family on the mainland. Have they said anything about the revive? Not much. I think they appreciate the convenience. They didn't need much medical attention for their Pokemon to begin with, though. Uh, so that doesn't mean, of course, that there's not other ways they need help. 
Tiny man, thanks for the prime. So, what kind of maintenance do these things usually need? Oh, barely anything at all. I've heard some centers hire teens to keep them up. Sort of a high school job situation. Not to say there's nothing to it, but I, I get it. You know. Ida. Yeah? Uh, you're stalling. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just having a bit of conversation before I grab the literally life-altering machine. If you want to talk about it, nah, I'm fine. You're right. I should just get on with it. So, electric types can cause a bit of trouble with electronics, right? Uh, they certainly can. Is this about Pikachu frying my hard drive or, well, would there be any concern about the machine being disrupted by a shock? You know, like, is there like a, you know, uh, maybe needing some backup care until it's repaired? No, I don't believe so. They really accounted for everything in building it. Oh, okay. I, I see. All right. That's, yeah. Um, ah, not so nice to have your own career on the line now, is it? I'll be quiet, you. Uh, I'll have the Arcanine over soon to bring the cargo to the facility. Should we just take the revive with everything else? No, I, I think I can handle it. I've got the rest of the boxes unless you need help carrying it in. No, I, I think I got it. All right, guys. Let's take the machine parts. You picked up the revive parts. All right, uh, let's head back, huh? Uh, right, I'll collect the rest. The Chansey. Oh, not the Chansey. Oh, come on. Oh, we got to go after the Chansey. I think the Chansey knows too. All right, wait. Actually, I wonder if the Chansey's outside. I, I don't want to like... Yeah. No, I know. This... this it sounded like Zelda's lullaby a little bit, like the sound, like the song. Uh, I, 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 that's kind of why I turned it up. I was like, is this? Just want to make sure. Oh, I don't want to go up here. Jeez. Uh, let's go up here, maybe. I just. No? Okay. Sorry, I don't want to flashbang you guys. <laughs> All right, Chansey's uh, definitely back in the facility. Okay. God, this is so well made. Uh, this is Fiona. Thanks for the seven months. Um, okay. Oop. Uh, do you need me to get out of the way? Oh, no. Hi, Delcaddy. Uh, pet them. Yeah, okay. I appreciate you even more than I already did. A little shy around me, it seems. Okay. Hey. Uh, spring is a fantastic time of year, isn't it? It's a fascinating time of year. Okay, let me go up and around. Uh, I just want to, like... It's probably, like, our last time, because it's, like, zero days for the icebreaker, you know? Like, like we have the machine parts here. Literally. Uh, Dallas Stream's here. Um, thanks for the Prime Gaming. I just want to really, like, double, triple check. Talk to everybody. You, yes, okay. <laughs> what, a, what a sad, sad fan game here. <laughs> what an absolute sad fan game. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, it's like, bro, like, it has, it has you in the feels. Uh, okay, I just I'm um, checking all the things. So mad at you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would like. Come on. Bad ending. I don't think. Uh, I don't know if there's multiple endings. I'm just like double checking to make sure that I'm not like missing anything right now. But looks like we're not. So, here we go. Uh, you got the box number. Uh, three out of four. Uh, yes. In that case, shall we start building the healing machine? Understand if you want to talk with Chansey a bit more or until you're ready. Uh, no, no, I should wait. Yeah. I'm free until around one in the afternoon. All right. Uh, let's, let's, let's talk. Um, Cassandra's, uh, Caracosta. Hello. How has your day been? Uh, good. Thank you. Uh, Cassandra's Caracosta really did a number on this place, huh? 
Uh, it's so big. It almost makes me dizzy. Yeah, they upgraded it. I'm joking, Chansey. Please don't get mad at them. Aw. This is where uh, they're going to put the healing machine. You remember the name? Uh, I didn't tell you, huh? Uh, revive. That's what it's called. Um, look, you'll get used to it in time. Aw. Where'd it go? Where'd the Chansey go? Is it on our... No, wait, actually, where did the Chansey go? What about the machine? I care more about the Chansey right now. Outside? Oh, you think so? Um, I mean, like, it was just outside. Like, we just... I don't know. We check. Double check everything. This is so sad. <laughs> this is so tearful. All right, Chansey did not run away. Okay. Love the little coat sprite. Isn't it so cool? The game replaced? Yeah, the, the whole game's about, like, uh, the Nurse Joys being replaced by the healing machines. So we're the last Nurse Joy to be replaced by a healing machine. Um, in here, maybe? Hi. Ah, it's nice to see everyone happy again. <laughs> I don't know if everyone's happy right now. Uh, I don't know if everyone's happy. Okay. Where, where the fuck is Chansey? Uh, chat, do we lose Chansey? Where the hell? Yeah, where where is it? Do you guys know? What do you think? Because right now we've checked, I think every room. Could be the ship area, but. All right, let me, let me check the ship area. And if it's not the ship area, I think we have to continue on. I know where the Chansey go. I can't use teleport. I wonder why we have the SP on. Still. Yeah, we checked the locker room already. Oh, there's Chansey. Hey, Chansey. Uh, it's going to be okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh, you just keep... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I guess Chansey just doesn't want to see it. You're just really sad. Okay. Not a Chansey. That's a Chansey. <laughs> That's a Chansey. Um, uh, don't you worry. Uh, Bronzon can't really move, but its psychic powers are wildly strong. I don't know if I'm worried about that. Uh, if I'm correct, the revive was developed, uh, neither Kalos or Hoenn. Uh, either? Yep. Uh, no one's sure. Uh, weird, huh? No one's sure where it was? Right, it was anonymous. Whoever created it. Careful with the delicate parts. Wow. Uh, fascinating. All right, you got box number three or four. Uh, yes. Uh, you know what? Actually, wait, let's, let's like, uh, um, let's go in here. One last time for the fans. Oh, we can't read anything. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Careful with the delicate parts. You will never say that to a woman. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Um, sorry. That was, uh, that was probably a bug there. Okay. Uh, you've got box number three or four. Um, yes. All right. Let's see what guys. Pet the cat, please. I did pet the cat. Um, I understand if you want to talk with Chansey a bit more or until you're ready. Yes, let's do it. The way I see it, Cass, I, uh, I can worry about it once it's actually bolted to the ground. Well, let's get to work. Hey, Ida. Yeah? Uh, touch the machine for me. 
Feel that? Oh my, that's very weird, Iyer. Why do we get the feeling it's alive? That's just the effect the healing magic has. Don't worry. Okay. That seems weird. You sound like you know how this thing works better than I do. Yeah, and... Go on. If you wanted to be informal about it, you could call that magenta stuff life force. Actually, it doesn't really have an agreed name. But how? How does this even get made then? In secret, presumably. I'm sure in a couple years, people have, will have dissected uh, People will have dissected it. Oh, for sure. But in Kalos, there's a story of an old king with a dead Pokemon and a healing machine. No, oh, that's ridiculous. The box specifically says it can't revive dead Pokemon. Want me to tell you the whole story? Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, okay. What what is this? Huh? What the hell is this? And the Pokemon was never seen again. Oh, this is the healing machine. Yeah. So wait, what was the story? I never I never played X and Y. <laughs> <laughs> Looks flashy. What's the story of X and Y? That's not the healing machine I was thinking of. Seems sus. Um, Fire Knight, thanks for the prime. Oh, a king that used a weapon to revive his flow wet, but then used his weapon to kill everyone. Oh, gotcha. It looks like some part of an elder god. Yeah, very weird. Um, yeah. Okay, so from what I do know, uh, it's like um, there's an old king that wanted to revive a dead Pokemon and then created this whole machine um, to do so. Um, I wonder if that's like that. That seems to be related to this. Basically, the plot of X and Y is a dude fucked around and found out. <laughs> Sounds like it. And the Pokemon was never seen again. That's fascinating, really. It makes so much sense. I thought so. So they use that technology to create Pokemon like machines, like 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 healing machines. I like the setup we have here. Yeah, I stick some Ottomans around it, and I can see it being a little bit more of a social space. Do you think so? Uh, we have the lounge. Don't you think this is a bit? Clinical? Well, it's your choice. Small Pharma, thanks for the 17 months. That's hilarious. What a name. Uh, heh. Thank you. Uh, for the idea, I mean. You know, I don't even know why I was worried about this thing in the first place. The end. Huh? Uh, question mark? Chansey? Wait, what? Wait, what? Yes, I, I finally got the machine. Wait. No, 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 no. What? What is going on? What the? What the hell is going on? Huh? Did the life force like bond with Chansey? What's happening here? What is that? Oh, Chansey. What? The Chansey's like distraught. I try to make it react? The check notebook first. I don't know anything about this. What is... Can I turn on the light? I cannot. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? I was like, okay, I guess like, you know, um, everyone's like kind of come to terms with uh, the fact that, hey, you know, technology sometimes does replace things, but hey, you are you and you got the people around you and maybe you can make the best out of a social situation, you know? Um, but then this happened and I don't know what's going on. Oh, what did Chansey do? It, it, it came into the, the room and I guess the life force reacted with it? Tried to make it react, what should I do? Um, call, call to it probably. Chansey, I'm here. 
Machine is okay. No one got hurt. You're in my office. If there's a reason you're keeping yourself in the stat in the state, I can help. No? Oh, Chansey. Draw the creature. Maybe this will help someone else identify what's turned into. Oh, Chansey. Okay, okay. Um, do I touch the feelers? Sounds like it's in pain, dude. Try to make it react. I don't know if I do. Okay, notebook updated with the observations. All right, let, let me like check the notebook. Sketched in my notebook in a coma, unresponsive to essentially everything. Okay, how the hell? Uh -huh. Dude, it's emotionally frozen. The blood analysis machine, I don't have it yet. Okay. Um, can I like the thermometer gonna work? 32 degrees Celsius. Seems to be an artificially lowered. Okay. Let's, no, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, the stethoscope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It returns to infinite fusion. <laughs> what is 40 BPM? It's in a coma. Okay. It's 40 BPM is crazy. The blood pressure cuff probably, you know. Hey, Point Crow. Long time VOD Frog here. I really watching, or sometimes even just listening, to your VODs as I go about my day online. Also, remember everyone, if you have Prime, to sub to Point Crow. Tara, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> Doesn't have any limbs thick enough for me to get an accurate reading. The tendrils on his head aren't even flesh. They feel like plastic. What? So I can't get a blood pressure reading. Ooh, I don't know about blood sample. I'll try. Welcome back but... to Infinite Fusion. Okay. What the hell, dude? Huh? The frontal vein should be right here. It's like it's moving out of the way of my needle. Ah! An unknown sample. Chansey really said sweepy time. The only thing I could draw is Chansey's body. Oh, Chansey. Um, check the notebook for sure. We should we should test it though. We should test it. Um, blood blood sample. My bad. Do I do TTS it? TTS was behind. Oh, you're okay. Um, do I do it? Yeah, it's worth a shot. So we're gonna run the blood sample that we got. Whatever it is. Blood cell count unknown. Blood oxygen level unknown. White blood cell count unknown. Energy infinity. Pure life force. Um. Oh. Okay. Maybe like a psionic compare. Yeah, yeah, we could we could try that. This one's made for psychic types. It seems kind of psychic. Uh, what should I do? Poke it, use an item? Yeah. So there's some kind of item that can help me connect with it in a state. An item that can help me connect with it. Okay. Toxin test strip kit. Yeah, okay. Can I, like, x-ray it? Yeah. Dude, uh, chill pollen. Thanks for the, uh, three months. Can I x-ray it? Tavners, thanks for the Prime Gaming and Volvapox. Thanks for the nine months. When King has fired the machine using Xerneas slash Eveltal to power the ultimate machine killing both sides of a war, it also irradiated stones causing mega stones and mega evolution. I wonder if this is something like that. A mega evolved Chansey? Interesting. Okay, let's give it an x-ray. Let's see what's in there. Why won't you move? Okay, we can't give it an x-ray. I'll just have to observe it from here. Okay. 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 Um, there's no mouth. Okay. So it cannot eat. <laughs> Rubber gloves probably won't do anything. A blanket? Uh, no. Not gauze either. Can give it vitamins. You know what? Um, we need some more consultation here. I can't give it an ultrasound chat. Um, it, there was no option. Okay. These are just, uh, the 
Can't find anything in here that looks like Chansey now. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Can I show it to other people? Get the drawing, right? You keep working on the machine. We're just going to ignore the mutant Chansey? I'm not. You're fine. And don't all crowd in here at once, unless you've got something to tell me, in which case, please stay. Oh, there's the Del Caddy. Uh, did you want to hang around me for a while instead of Chansey? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, wait. All right, okay, watch. Wait, so the Del Caddy's... The Del Caddy joined us. Okay, we got to figure out something, you know? Okay. Uh, what did you see? After your Chansey jumped into the machine... Oh boy, we both saw the feelers stretch out and then the whole thing started melting. Dude, what is inside of these healing center machines, dude? What the hell? Then I saw this big magenta sphere cocoon formed around it. Not like a perfect sphere, but like it was really roughly carved out of ice. It's the best way I can describe it to you, honestly. What the hell? Uh, the Pokemon that you have? Check out the greenhouse. A lot of them like to hang out there. I won't question why you want them, but I assume you know best. Oh, we're collecting Pokemon right now? Why? Have you ever seen this? Not in Sinnoh, I haven't. No, in Hoenn and Kalos, it's a pretty common tactic to change your Pokemon's form. In Sinnoh, we do that. This might have something to do with Mega Evolution. Apparently, the form changing is based on friendship, but I'm a little sus. Dude! This could be a Mega Evolution. We know where Megastone is as well. Yeah, okay, what did you see? I I don't know. I was just standing like way too close when Chansey jumped in. I nearly went blind. Um tell me that story again. What, uh, what about the king? Yeah, please. But this time without the politics. About 3000 years ago, Kalos is going through this big war, right? And their king is officially less powerful than the military. Right, maybe I can't avoid politics. Uh, but his Pokémon got conscripted. It got killed. The king, he doesn't know how to process that. So he builds this machine just to bring it back to life and make it live forever. The first revive, if you will. Did it work? If you want to change something about a Pokemon that much, you need to take that energy from somewhere else. Call it life force, mana, infinity energy, magic, whichever. For him, that was everybody on the opposing side. That's disgraceful. And those Pokemon? Well, this is where it gets fuzzy. Some people say it evolved again. Like it had all this energy pumped into it. Its whole body changed. Usually that next level of evolution only happens if you have a strong bond with the Pokemon. But it can be one-sided or none-sided. Oh. But no one ever got to know how powerful it was because it disappeared. I'm not really the expert on what evolution here or the expert on Kalos, but you summed up why it left pretty well. Oh, wow. So basically, the, the king tried to revive his dead Pokemon by sacrificing everybody on the opposing side of the war. And his Pokemon somehow well, evolved. Quite like our Chansey. Uh, all right, what did you see? Oh, before Chansey jumped into the machine, it looked so determined. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Ida, don't panic. In any other situation, that's the kind of thing that makes Pokemon evolve and win battles. Just in the wrong place this time. Um, okay. Pokemon that you have? I have some psychic types that can help you. Uh, Dan's got to tell, of course. She's resting. Okay. Uh, what if things go wrong? If you can't wake her up, I'll call the mainland. Though I highly doubt you'll need to do that. Between you and B, I doubt they could help either. I assume Chansey isn't dead. Just sleeping. Okay, interesting. Uh, Dr. Girl Lightly's crystal uh, is sent to help me in this new writing room. Get it to help you? Yeah. This will take long to move a chancy shaped box. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Let's let's get all the Pokemon we can. Katsu Fatsu, thanks for the four months. Right, this doesn't seem like we're going to be helpful over here. X-ray now? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We'll do the X-ray in a second. Tag. Uh, then again, it makes a little of sense. We will concede it. I'd accept the rules of the victor. All right, so we got the Weavile as well. Okay, so we have three different Pokemon. We have the uh, the oh, we have the Delcaddy, right? Um, right. Uh, we have the 
Okay. Yeah, we have all the Pokemon that we've gotten here. Okay. Oh, whoa, more. Okay. It's Cassandra's Silglip. Um, ask it to join. Wait, what is it like in battle? It's a psychic flying type at level 56. It's not much of an attacker. So it knows to use moves like gravity, pull Pokemon down, reflect and come in attacks. Oh, so do we have to like... I'm a good trainer. Okay. Of course, that's coming from me to a Pokemon that's barely been around me, isn't it? All right, so we're collecting as many Pokemon as we can. All right, passable. Um, oh, we, uh, how are you? Passable. You, do you want to help Chansey? She's turned into a completely new form, and it looks like... Ah, uh, okay. You're already astral projecting. <laughs> Mother of fuck! What in the name of shit is that fucking thing? Holy shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, same though, same. Uh, all right, tell Siglyph I'm cool. I want a Siglyph. Thank you. All right. Uh, ask him to join me. Siglyph has heard good things about you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> good vouch. Uh, oh wow. You know what? What if? Wait. I wonder if our Pokemon composition like actually matters. Like our Larvesta. I ask a favor. Chansey's in a lot of trouble. Oh, I know. Join my party. So we are team building right now. We have. Wow. Okay. Sure. Uh, Scarlet Swallows. I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I were to borrow it. This is a medical emergency. More details. Dark Dragon type, approximately level 55. Um, okay. We'll probably be fine, right? I think we might be fighting this. Uh, it seems really focused on building its ass. Um. Yeah, probably the Zwellos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Try getting it to come. Oh, you want some food in return, huh? Okay. I don't have food. Uh, I'm wondering, chat. Maybe if we got, like, all of the Pokemon that we've healed for Chansey. Like, that could help, maybe. I don't know. But then, like, we couldn't get Gothitelle. So, what do I know? Oh, wait, there's the Mega Stone right here. It's a Keystone. Should I take it? Yes. One of you, that's mine! Surely you can't just take it! You released a ditto inside a scientific facility to come up a fight with a wild Pokemon. I do what I want. Screw you. We're taking the Keystone. Uh, the only way to maintain a link and a precious balance with a Mega Evolved Pokemon. Right? And we might need that for the Chansey. T-Rex style, uh, textile. Thanks for the uh, gifted sub. Thank you. Um, uh, Gurren Hagen. Thanks for the 10 months. Thank you. The shadows in this game are so good. WTF. I know, right? That's pretty sick. All right. Uh, still checking everywhere. Okay. I had this problem before actually. All right. Remove any mods on the Chansey, and if that doesn't work, then uninstall and reinstall her. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Sorry. Happens, you know. Happens to the best of us. Dr. Uh, the uh, Volby. Get it to help you? I don't have room. Okay. Uh, PC got installed in the new waiting room, if I got it correctly. This is where... Uh... Okay. That's fine. Um... Wonder for Groudon, hard of the last continent. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, let's. We got the Mega Stone. We got some Pokemon. Let's. I mean, well. Let's see. Oh, this is the PC. It's one of those fancy new PCs. Um, someone's PC. Organized boxes. Nothing in here. I mean, we can put Pokemon. I mean, it'll be fine, right? Like, we'll be like okay. I mean, do we actually have to like build my PC? Item storage. Withdraw. Anything in here? A potion. Cool. You know? I don't know. Should we actually like team build? I'm, I'm curious. Like we have like, th these are our Pokemon. Oh, we're the quite nice. What do you guys think? I don't know. We can just try it out. I'll save here. Okay. All right, let's try this. All right, let me try the x-ray again because we have the crustal that can help move it. Yeah. Just in case. Okay. 
Why won't you move? Oh, I guess we can't move it. So I have to observe it from here. Okay. I wonder. It said we can give it an item, right? I wonder if we... Wait. Yeah. Aha. This old thing. Let's see. Does it still fit? We can put our glove from the old days. From from the old uh, um, EMT. Oh, my God. And with a tiny bit of skin adhesive. We obtained a mega glove. Oh. <gasps> Right, because the insignia was too big on the mega glove, and we were like, ah, oh, it's a little embarrassing. And now we can put the mega stone in the mega glove. The only way to maintain uh my link in a um uh, my link in a precious balance with my mega evolved Pokemon. It's perfect. <gasps> Hi, okay. Oh, Chansey. What should I do? I don't want I, I don't want to poke it. 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 I, I okay. I poke. Alright, it's <laughs> a little annoying. Okay. I poked you 13 times. Aren't you mad? Oh, Chansey. Um, okay. Use an item. The mega glove. Okay. Is this going to work? Chansey! Or as I should say, mega Chansey! Mega evolution is a barely understood science, but it requires a keystone and a mega stone. Two links between two people. I don't know how you did this without a link. I'm sorry. I can only manage a one-way connection. Do you see this? It's my paramedics glove. I see no better use for it than this. Do you hear me now, Chansey? Yes! Yes! Yes, Chansey! Do you have control over this form? The machine didn't hurt me. You, I, I can heal you. I'm not in danger anymore. Believe me, I'm... I'm, I'm Nurse Joy. <laughs> um, you can't escape. I, I don't want to, I don't want to, can I like, how do I, I don't want to, do I, do I fight you? Oh boy. All right. Hypnosis. I just sleep. Okay. Um, I'll use morning sun for later. Okay. Oh, never mind. I was stupid. Use a potion on it. No, I have to use it on my Pokemon. Okay. Hey, what's up, Sam? Thanks for the 27 months. Yo, kill it with fire. Excuse me. That's our Chansey right now. Okay. That's our Chansey. All right. Uh, psychic now. That does not do a lot of damage. Okay. Um, you're still asleep. All right, let me psychic again. I soft boiled. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit of a yikes. Okay, we gotta like actually do this well. All right, hypnosis. Okay. Um. Psychic normal, maybe? Is, is what you guys are saying? Sand attack. Sandstorm. We could do a uh, sandstorm uh, stall. Okay. I use return. Oh god, it's like maxed out return, isn't it? I'll like uh stands from this. Okay. And metronome. Kinesis. That's fine. Accuracy fell, that's okay. Okay. Um we'll do earthquake maybe? It has of course it has levitate. God. Okay, no, that's cool. That's that's fine. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I, I can't do ground type moves. Um. It's not a claw. Okay. Pressure. Actually, I don't know if that's gonna do anything for you. Soft boiled. You're already healed. Okay. Um. Okay. Wait. Are you not buff? You're not getting hurt by the sandstorm, Chansey? I guess it doesn't. We'll check this. Yeah, I could do gravity into into um, earthquake. I could do it. Um, only attacking moves. I could do snarl. Let me do snarl, maybe. Okay. Dude, what type is this thing? 
All right. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to taunt. I'm going to taunt gravity earthquake, I think. Oh, my God. I did so much. Okay, we're dead. All right. All right. He's okay. Taunt. Okay. Taunting out of soft boiled. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And then, um, and then, uh, Siglyph. Siglyph, right? Like, it's probably, like, highly special. Like, the attack, like, you know? So we have to use a physical move here. Return sucks. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to use gravity here. So it brings it down to the ground, right? So then Chansey uh, can be hit by a ground type. And that's that's the important part. Um, so Igneous is next. This is like a puzzle. It's so cool. Then I use Earthquake so I can actually hit it. And it does a lot of damage. This is a physical move. Yes! Oh, it's, it's, it is quite literally uh, the taunt wore off. That kind of sucks. Crit, maybe? Please, please don't soft boiled. Okay. Um. It's super effective. Oh, one more hit could, could, could do this. Come on. Yes! It was, it was, it was the gravity physical. I love that. That was so cool. It was literally the knowledge of Pokemon that worked. I love that. W what's going on? It's done. All art, uh, all alternate forms wear off when Pokemon faint, correct? Please, please, please. Oh, <gasps> and that's Chansey. Yes, you've almost got it. I'll be able to treat that. You, you just hold on. Oh, whoa. What the hell? Okay. Oh, it has a wound. Inspect its wound. Where is it? It's lots of, uh, there's a laceration extending across Chansey's chest of region, uh, reasonable depth. Blood loss is limited, but something I'm worried about. There appears to be no sign of injury on the Chansey's coat. So either the coat is invisibly damaged or there was, it, it was done before it turned mega. Okay. Uh, we got treated. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, not yet. So uh, here's my plan for how I'm going to treat you. Yeah, I know I forgot to bring anything. Okay. So, so, okay. So, so sailing solution for sure, right? There's a laceration there. Uh, yes. Sailing solution for the treatment. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? Use for deeper wounds. Okay. Uh, what else do we got to do to, to, to treat this thing? Uh, not iron tablets, right? Wait, actually, I wonder if I can like see more. Uh, like this, like the thermometer and stuff. All right. All right. We can like actually treat this now. Right, you're you're cold, uh, artificially lowered. Okay, the gauze for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, let me make sure everything's fine here. Uh, I want to also do like a blood test if I can, uh, like a stethoscope. Uh, OMG Maggie, thanks for the eight months. Eighty BPM. Okay, that's normal. Okay, okay, okay. So it's no longer in like a comatose state. We we've solved that uh part. The blood pressure cuff. Okay. Now we I we, it doesn't have any limbs thick enough for me to get an accurate reading. That's okay. Um, and then, uh, the Butterfree Needle. Okay, let's get some blood if I can. Okay, um, all right, Butterfree, uh, Butterfree Needle, right? Uh, comfort the Chansey. Of course, of course, of course. Um, we probably do need that. So that's like important. Okay. Right. Um, so, okay. What do you think? Uh, it has no mouth. Okay. So we can't comfort it that way. Uh, definitely gauze, right? Gauze for the, um, for the wrapping wounds. Yes. Let's see. What else, chat? Do you think we need to give it the cone of shame? <laughs> I don't know if we... I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Uh, blanket for sure. Because uh, it's cold. So, yes. Ooh, shiny. Okay. Um, And then... I don't think we give it any supplements or anything. Uh, Iron supplements, maybe? Uh, Gloves. Sure. Yeah. Oh, okay, not, not iron gloves. Okay, or rubber gloves. Uh, 
let's see uh the blood test it's blood analysis machine but i don't have a blood sample right right um wait did i not did i not do the butterfly needle okay i thought i did oh bags full okay i already tried that and it didn't work right okay um hmm psionic compare maybe one's made for psychic types okay we don't have that um maybe an air current test Jensen won't be able to make wind okay um a flare meter maybe Jensen doesn't make fire all right i'm just you know i'm just wondering uh draconic readout hmm oh draconic readout okay how do i yeah that's for power uh can i move them actually now for like an x-ray can i do that uh it doesn't seem like i can why won't you move okay 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 that doesn't, that doesn't matter okay um what else god it's so weird um okay check the notebook let's see last version of the chest of uh, reasonable depth injury likely before mega evolution temperature is low still heart rate's fine what do you guys think what else i think that might be it honestly I, I i can't test for anything else uh comfort it how do i comfort it how do how do i do that <laughs> no way it's level dropped by 60 oh it's level 10 now uh a heat pack eh, right well it is cold so yeah do i want to add heat packs to the treatment sure oh and painkillers painkillers forgot about that um and painkillers yes okay that should be good actually so we have painkillers a heat pack blankets saline solution and gauze um my bag's full oh um oh let me toss the needle and toss this yeah Okay, so painkillers. Okay, painkillers, yes. Um, okay. So, we have... I, I don't think I can get rid of the Mega Glove. Um... Yeah, I think so, right? Like... We have painkillers, a blanket roll, gauze, and saline solution, and a Mega Glove. I think it's good. Uh, and then what's our... What's our order here? What structure should I give? Stay in center order, please. Yep. Obviously, once I've gotten it out of whatever state it's in now. Yes. Okay. And honestly, uh, I don't know why I'm giving orders to myself. I suppose it's just a formality. Okay. I think we're good now. I think we're good. Uh, Izumiya, thanks for the 10 months. Um, all right, let's treat it. I think we got everything. We got saline solution. Uh, we got gauze. We have painkillers. Uh, we have a blanket for comfort. I, I think we can, you know, I think we can do this. Here's my plan for how I'm going to treat you. Choose a treatment. Okay. So, f oh, we have to do it in order. Okay. Um, first painkillers, right? <laughs> It, it, for, like, first you do painkillers. Okay. Wait, this is uh, taken orally. How am I supposed to get the painkiller into its system if it doesn't have a mouth? Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I guess, okay. Um, well, not, not definitely, definitely. Uh, the saline solution for sure then. Okay. Let me do let me do the, the sailing solution for sure. Let, let's start with that. Um treat its wound. Okay. E pad instead. No, I think I think we go for Take the painkillers anally. <laughs> That's not how. <laughs> Alright, sailing solution. I know, uh, baby, it stings, but this thing has to get all the way into the wound to disinfect it. That and you get all of this blood off of your fur. I know you worry about that. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Uh, treat its wound. Antibiotics. Are there antibiotics? I don't think so. So, uh, here's my plan for how I'm going to treat you. Okay. Use treatment. Um, blanket. Maybe? It fell off. Okay. Well, this guy's shit. <laughs> um, there's iron tablets, calcium, vitamin A, B. Do we just give all of them? E, D, gauze first. Why, wait, why gauze first? Okay, I'll do gauze. Oh, no mouth. We can't, right. Right, it can't eat, so we can't give it vitamins. Um, okay, let's treat the wound. So yeah, gauze, I guess. Yeah, we can just get under this coat. Perfect. Okay. Oh my god, Lori, that's so cute. You can see it's like, it's like, kind of like, you know, you get the little bandages on the top. Okay. Inspect the wound now. Okay. It's a laceration. Okay, we're, we're okay. Blood loss is limited. Okay, this piece been no son of injury on Chansey's coat either. Um, so we're all good. Okay. Treat the wound. Um, uh, blanket rolls? The sailing? I already did we, we already did sailing. Right? Like the sailing already we already did that, right? Emmy Blaze, thanks for the 36 months. Thank you. That's three years. Thank you. All right, the heat pack. I'll do the heat pack. Don't worry. Uh, let me check in. Um, I'll, I'll just do it again. Okay. Okay. Still stitches, but I don't know if it's safe to put anything in your body if it's changed shape. And the bleeding still needs to be stemmed, but I can't move you to the recovery position if you're levitating. Oh, so I had to do the gauze first and saline. I'm sorry. I can't do anything until you turn back. Ida, come turn the machine on. Don't come in. Just ignore them, Chansey. Uh, put the healing machine out of your mind and it'll help. It's not going to make me useless. I'm not going to make you useless. If I, were, if I were so cut up over this, I was the worst in their story, I wouldn't even let that machine on that ship. You and I, we just keep working. Maybe dealing with a preventable injury or a death now and again, but even I'd make mistakes. I had the opportunity to be a nurse joy with technically the hardest job on the planet. And you know what? I'll say it. I'd love it. But I'm better than that. I know you're better than that too. All you have to do is let go and I'll do the rest. Chansey? Do you believe me? Because if you don't, then I... I can understand why not. Will the Pokeball let it in now? Oh. Yes. Oh, look at me. Can't even stop myself from arguing to save a life. I suppose there's only one way I can make things now. Things right now. Oh, it's not in our party. Okay. Oh, we saved Chansey. We saved Chansey. Only one more thing to make things right. Yeesh. I didn't think the first Pokemon that needed healing here would be yours. Oh, fuck off. I heard something about a Pokemon battle going down here. Did someone start arguing over supplies? Something happened to Chansey. Besides the obvious, I mean. So that's where the vague uh, existential dread came from. Someone should have told us that thing was full of infinity energy. Maybe that's what they're calling it? Ah, there you are. Gosh, what a strange turn of events. Yeah. This is excessive. That's really not. Okay. Do I use the revive to revive Chansey? Well... I think we have to. Let's do it. Er. Unfortunately, in between everything else that's happened today, I forgot to read the instructions. <laughs> oh, that's no problem. Uh, surely there's an option to calibrate the Pokemon's size, strength, um, uh, what injuries it has, how much energy output. Nah, it does that on its own. Shuffle over. I want to see if it works. Can someone pretty please turn this uh, pot plant at a better angle? It mutates the chance again. I'll file the lawsuit. Yep, just put the Pokeball on the white pad and press the red button. Oh. There it is. 
It's done. Is it done? There's Chansey again. Oh, hi, Chansey. Oh, welcome back. You know, the, the one thing that we sought to destroy, the, the one thing we sought to destroy in the end helped us out. Welcome back. What the? Y y yes, it's, it's me. I'm so sorry if I worried you. Hi. Yeah, yes, your hand's back, isn't it? Don't look at me. I know about as much as you do. This may as well be magic. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't, no, don't, don't cry. Oh, it has a little... Sorry. A... My smoke alarm is running low. It, it has a little scar. Right next to the egg. I get it now. I'm not the last nurse, Joy. I'm not in... Uh, I'm not the last nurse, Joy. I'm not even in the ideal... Nurse Joy, clearly. I don't know what happens after this, Chansey. But don't go doing that again, you hear? Oh. Do you need me to... Oh, oh, oh I, I see. <laughs> oh, hug. First note to self. I should probably be hugging you more often. Or in general. comfort zero energy zero sky swear to god i am the best doctor on this planet god a while post ice break oh we get we get an epilogue my life wasn't the same again after that i can leave the pokemon center for a start the healing machine ran itself mostly without supervision uh the scientists gather around it like rhyhorn at a water hole and i was rarely alone when i came back Oh, I didn't see you there. Uh, what brings you here? Oh, well, uh, my Arcanine and I are both tired out, so we're taking a rest here. That uh, and my sled got a dent, but the machine only fixes Pokemon. I may be procrastinating a little. Right. Uh, you have to get new parts shipped from uh, Grace uh, and wouldn't you? Or I could do it myself. I probably got a wrench uh, uh, or something I can borrow. Hey, hey. How's your observation going? Surprisingly well, actually. More and more of my colleagues in Hoenn are reporting sightings of uh, UFPOZ. Okay. We conclude that uh, it's traveling around the Earth at a speed of seven kilometers per second and that it may be alive. Was that Sanford again? Unidentified flying Pokemon, codename Ozone. Deoxys! Or... Mega Rayquaza? An alien? I can show you pictures if you want. Never said I didn't believe you. Uh, Aristokov, good to see you. How's life? Oh, uh, very busy. I've got to set up with the supercomputer that got chipped in, and my kid Vegas finally decided to email me. Hmm, exciting. That reminds me, I need to set up a fancy email. I tell you, I didn't get a moment's rest around here. I hear you're going back to Unova. Oh, right, because Will's going to die when they go to Unova. Oh, yes, I'll be in Nacreen City. Is it nice there? You could say that. For one, it's actually summer. And all the buildings are built in old warehouses, and there's an old railroad track that runs along one of the main streets. Uh, there's also a museum. I helped with some of their furniture-based exhibits. But my family's the main reason I want to go back, to be honest. There's only so many opportunities you get to do that. Ida? Uh, not, nothing, Doctor. No, nothing. You know, I think this place has the potential to be a great community space. The lounge is stupidly large and disorganized anyhow. Hey, Doc. Ever wonder what would happen if you put a human in a healing machine? Why would you? <laughs> well, Doctor, you need to put them in a Pokeball then. And believe me, people have tried that. Dubtoes, thanks for the eight months. And Skywalking on you, thanks for the eight months as well. Thank you. Oh, look, there's Chansey. Hey, Chansey. At nine, I came into work. I'd clean the bookshelves, talk to Chansey, treat a Pika flu, or answer a question no one else had the degree to answer themselves. I jest, of course. Everyone still respected me, being the nurse and all. So did Chansey, bless her heart. Sometimes we laugh about the week leading up to icebreak and what I've taken calling the before times. 
The Pikachu I misdiagnosed and the domino effect that caused was some expensive equipment. <laughs> it sounds like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> we all have to talk about that. As well as I said that too. Oops. I freaking, you know, accused them wrongly of being a ditto. Um, I'm lucky that I didn't get mauled either by the Zwellius or by its trainer. Um, I was right about one thing. The stress is gone. I don't mind that. It's just not what it used to be. <laughs> Bro, I got a bronze ending? <laughs> Last week, Dr. Clementine uh, told me over a coffee how his Arcanine came back indoors that night with black paws and waxy skin. He'd healed it. Just so casually. His tone wasn't casual, but you know what I mean. I said to him, that's terrible. And the Arcanine sat next to him, wagging its tail. One thing's been on my mind since then. Did I mean it? What a good game! Wow! Oh my god, dude! That was awesome! <laughs> Let's get our claps for our bronze tier streamer. You know me! You know me! Okay, so there's like a separate ending to it too? Um, perfect ending um yeah that's why chancy didn't trust you right 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 um a lot of playthroughs here is there like a non-commentary like ending you guys, uh, do you guys know if there's a non-commentary ending on YouTube? This looks so much fun to play. It was, yeah. What a cool concept. Just do run number two. No, I'm not, I don't know if I'm running this again. Yeah, the last nurse joy. There's one yet. The game isn't well known. Is there? A, did someone get a perfect ending? Oh, look at the yeah. Look at the doodles on the window. Yeah, has anyone gotten a perfect ending that you know I can see of? <gasps> look at the gothitelle. Yeah, it's a well it was a well developed story. A really awesome like couple different arcs and stuff too. Yeah. Four hour long game. It was, yeah. Uh this was uh created by a non alpaca. Um, so all the credit towards that and absolutely amazing game. This was this is really cool. It was really fun. Such a neat game, dude. Like such a neat game. I really enjoyed that. Credit's done. Cool. Bye, right, Walker. Thanks for the 21 months. <laughs> uh, Scarlet McCloud, Marley Go Lightly, Ayanaki Tajiri, Elliot uh, Arisnikov, Avani Clementine, John Garcia, and Cassandra Will. All of the characters. And Ida win. The end. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, all right. Uh, is there, did anyone get like, like the perfect end chat? Like, you know, on YouTube, 
Let me ask my mods. I want to see if I can watch like a uh, 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 like a video of like the the perfect ending. Uh, see if we can like grab that. You know. Uh, if there's any anything like that. Your name is Ada because you ate a Pokemon. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, PSP Blue got golden end. I don't know if that's perfect ending. Check it out. All right, and here we go, everybody. So, how how different is it? Does that on its own. Do you need me to? Only fix. Be free. What? Mush oh, what the fuck? Cares. In case you there is a different mo uh, ending. Feel that wind, Clementine. Where are we headed? Yes. Which side are you aiming for? Napoleon? Spit? Tuscany? There's, so there's multiple endings? Ah, just a small glacier. To be honest, this is just for fun. I... It's what? Mush mush. All right. I got the same ending as you, Yo-Yo? Okay. Huh. I liked my ending a little bit better. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I like the bronze ending of like, we, we kind of go back to where it can just kind of chill. Um, back with Chansey. Um, I kind of liked that a lot. That was kind of, that was kind of nice. Yeah. Um. Here. What is going on, everybody? For sure, too. You could make it. Somebody. My colleague who I help from anyone. Oh, Aristokov's like, what's up, guys? I drank the Among Us potion at 3 a.m. and I'm Among Us now. Ice break. And what I've been calling the before time. Either by Zwilus or its trainer. Got him. <laughs> I got bro. <laughs> Shit! God damn it! Why is- Oh, fuck. Alright, alright. Um, Caterade 5? When, when, when the fuck did you play this? Um, we're going through playthroughs. I want to see the different endings. I want to see the different endings. Pokemon broken. There's so, oh, there's so many. Six months. How long ago did you play this? Uh, a year ago. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh my. So many. Okay. Infinity. Uh, where is this? Ash and Frost, Pokemon Quad. There's so many. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Maybe I have to go through this and see if I... Uh, I was aware of Little Re Researchers. I was, I was told that was a really cute game. Um, Bushido was... Okay. Uh, here it is. Last Nurse Joy. Okay. That's so... What end? What end did you get? In case Gold end. I want to see a silver or a perfect. Damn it. Um, moves then. Dangerous. What'd you get? What the fuck is? Okay. Um, what ending did you get? No. Okay, just ended it there. That's. I would probably do the same. Um. Today we're gonna. I'm literally. If Red was the main character, I'm going down a rabbit hole just for you guys. All right. Um, literally. Oh, you didn't finish the game? Huh? Today, we're going to be playing as Nurse Joy in a low blood cell count in general. Okay. Um. Oh, this was Moopsten's, uh, oh, stream. Okay, for this. Gold ending. Fuck. Did anyone get a perfect... Has any streamer gotten a perfect? What the hell? Check mod chat. Oh, never mind. All right, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Everyone I found is, is gold and bronze. Damn. All right. Well, anyways, chat. Uh, I hope you guys had a fun day today. Um.
but uh yeah um you are more than welcome to get a perk playthrough yourself and uh if you do tweet at me seriously uh i want to see it genuinely i will um i will i will watch it probably on stream if you want to do that so hey this was a lot of fun i even dressed up for it you know with the part um i thought it was going to be great hey and it, it really was so uh chat if you guys enjoyed feel free to follow the stream if you haven't enjoyed uh, follow the stream anyway i mean make big number go bigger come on that's what 